BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the Gospel of Yochanan, John chapter 13. Vámonos al Evangelio de Juan. John, Yochanan. Juan. Juan, chapter 13. Capítulo 13. This is the 543rd tape message. Este es el mensaje 543. It is entitled. Y se titula. So you don't like what I made for breakfast. Así que dices que no te gusta lo que hice para el desayuno. It's a very interesting statement. Es una dicho muy interesante. Do you think God ever said that? ¿Crees que Dios algún momento ha dicho eso? Well, you will by the end of, the, uh, end of today. Lo vas a saber cuando terminemos hoy. If God, imagine God coming up to you. Imagínate que Dios venga a ti. Saying Joshua, you don't like what I made for breakfast, huh? No te gusta lo que cociné para el desayuno. Okay, we, this message will have a synopsis. Este mensaje tendrá sinopsis. In two sections. Y dos secciones. Everything you hear today for those that are new. Todo lo que escuchen aquí para los que son nuevos. Will be in Hebrew, no, English and Spanish. Será en inglés y en español. Okay, English and Spanish. Inglés y español. I will read it in English and then Vero will read it in español. Maria Veronica Manjares. Okay. Synopsis. Sometimes we can make the biggest mistakes that cost us so much in spiritual wealth. Sometimes during our walk with the king, we don't like what he says to us. We don't like the rules that he makes us follow. Many of us sometimes forget where we came from, why we even called on Jehovah in the first place. This behavior really makes Jehovah's nostrils flare. One of the things Jehovah hates most is people that don't respect his word and don't like his cooking. In this message, we will find out what is on the breakfast menu to see if we can stomach it. Synopsis. A veces podemos cometer grandes errores que nos cuestan tanto en riqueza espiritual. A veces durante nuestro caminar con el rey no nos gusta lo que él nos dice. No nos gustan las reglas que él nos hace seguir. Muchos de nosotros a veces nos olvidamos de dónde venimos e incluso por qué clamamos a Jehová en primer lugar. Este comportamiento enfurece realmente a Jehová. Una de las cosas que Jehová odia mucho es el hecho de que la gente no respete su palabra y no le guste su cocina. En este mensaje nos enteraremos lo que está en el menú de desayuno para ver si podemos soportarlo. Section number one is entitled, He Calls Us Children. How many times did Messiah Yeshua call his Talmudin, the disciples, children? When he did, there was an incredible purpose behind it. But before he called us children, one of the Talmudin did not love his cousin enough to say, don't eat that, it will make you eternally sick. The question is, why didn't he speak up? What was the meaning behind this event? What purpose does it serve in our life today? Sección 1, Él nos llama niños. ¿Cuántas veces el Mesías Yeshua llamó niños a sus talmadín? Cuando lo hizo, se produjo un propósito increíble detrás de esto. Pero antes de que Él los llame hijos, uno de los talmadín no amaba a su primo lo suficiente como para decirle que no coma lo que le enfermará eternamente. La pregunta es, ¿por qué Él no habló? ¿Cuál era el significado detrás de este evento? ¿Para qué propósito nos servirá en nuestra vida hoy? 
Section number two is entitled, I Hate Yehovah's Cooking. How many people you think Yehovah can cook? How many people would love to taste his breakfast foods day after day? There's an event in Torah that happens that makes Yehovah so mad his nostrils flare. Let's just say that was not a good, that was not good for the mixed multitude. The question we are asking in this section is what would possess you to say to the king of the universe, I like Satan's cooking better than yours? What would possess the people to say, I don't like your word anymore? Once we answer these questions, we will see how to remember never to say these, those words ever again. Or have we already said them? Sección 2. Odio la comida de Jehová. ¿Cuántas personas piensan que Jehová puede cocinar? ¿A cuántas personas les encantaría probar su comida de desayuno día tras día? Hay un evento en la Torah que sucedió que encendió la ira de Jehová. Digamos que eso no fue bueno para la multitud mixta. La pregunta que haremos en esta sección es, ¿qué te hace decir al rey del universo, me gusta la comida de Satanás mejor que la tuya? ¿En qué están pensando cuando las personas dicen, no me gusta tu palabra? Una vez que respondamos a estas preguntas, vamos a ver cómo podemos recordar que nunca debemos decir esas palabras otra vez, ¿O será que ya la hemos dicho? Pretty interesting, don't you think? Muy interesante, ¿no piensas? Imagine saying to the Jehovah, the Father of the Universe. Imagínate decir a Jehovah, el Padre del Universo. I don't want your food. I like Satan's food better. No me gusta tu comida. Me gusta la comida de Satanás mucho más. How many mejor. people think you say that? ¿Cuántos creen que han dicho eso? How many people think you say that? ¿Cuántas personas han I dicho like eso? I like Satan's food a lot better. Me gusta la comida de Satanás It mejor. It tastes so good, mm, good. Sabe tan bien. But we're going to see what happens Pero vamos a ver qué pasa. when we do that. Cuando hacemos eso. But first, we got to go through section one to learn about that first. Pero primero vamos a ir a la sección uno para aprender de eso. John chapter 13. Juan capítulo 13. Yochanan chapter 13. Juan capítulo 13. Verse 18 through 38. Versos 18 al 38. John 13. Juan 13. Verse 18 through 38. Versos 18 al 38. I'm not talking to all of you. I know which ones I have chosen. But the words of the Tanakh must be fulfilled that say, the one eating my bread has turned against me. I'm telling you now before it happens. Uh -huh. So that when it does happen, you may believe that I am who I say I am. Yes, indeed, I tell you that a person who receives someone I send receives me. And that, one, that anyone who receives me receives the one who sent me. After saying this, Yeshua, in deep anguish of spirit, declared, yes, indeed, I tell you that one of you will betray me. The Talmudim stared at one another, totally mystified. Who could he mean? One of the Talmudim, the one Yeshua particularly loved, was reclining close beside him. So Shimon Kepha motioned to him, and he said, Ask which one he's talking about. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon, uh, Shimon from Kiryot. As soon as Yehuda took the piece of matzah, the adversary went into him. What you are doing, do quickly, Yeshua said to him. But no one at the table understood what he had said to him. Some thought it was that since Yehuda was in charge of the common purse, Yeshua was telling him, by what we need for the festival, by what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as he had taken a piece of matzah, Yehuda went out, and it was night. After Yehuda had left, Yeshua said, now the Son of Man can't, has been glorified, and Elohim has been glorified in him. If the Son has glorified God, God will himself glorify the Son and will do so without delay. Little children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Judeans, where I'm going, you cannot come. Now I say it to you as well. I'm giving you a new command that you keep on loving each other in the same way that I have loved you. You're also to keep on loving each other. 
Everyone will know, you, know that you are my Talmudine students by the fact that you have love for each other. Shimon Kepha said to him, Lord, where are you going? Yeshua answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow later. Lord, Kepha said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Yeshua answered, you will lay down your life for me? Yes, indeed, I tell you. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Amen? Amen. It's a little bit different when you slow down and you read it with some inflection. Es un poquito diferente cuando uh, lo lees dramatizado y despacio. Now let's set the stage. Veamos, a, pongamos ahora la, la, el, el, this la tarima, event, el this evento. Event. What is happening? ¿Qué está pasando aquí? They were sitting at the last Passover meal. Están sentados en la última cena de Pascua. They're not sitting at the last supper. No están sentados en la última like, cena. You know, the Catholics with their picture, the Da Vinci painting. <laughs> Los católicos tienen esa, 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 esa pintura de Da Vinci. There, there, how many Gentiles were sitting there? ¿Cuántos gentiles estaban sentados allí? Zero. Cero. Zero. Now, Cero. what we need to understand Pero lo que necesitamos entender, that our Bible is a Jewish book que nuestra Biblia es un libro judío. Genesis, Desde Génesis a Revelaciones. It has to be understood with a Jewish heart. Tiene que ser entendida con un corazón judío. But if you, if you have a Roman heart, Pero si tienes un corazón romano, you can't understand what's going on here. Tú no puedes entender lo que está pasando aquí. They're sitting at Pesach, not the Last Supper. Están sentados en Pascua, no en la última cena. It is an ordained feast given by the Father to his people. Es una fiesta ordenada dada para el Padre a su pueblo. Now let's take apart the passage that we just read. Ahora dividamos el pasaje que hemos leído. Let's start with verse 20. Comencemos con el verso 20. Verse 20. Verso 20. Yes, indeed, I tell you that a person who receives someone I send receives me, and that anyone who receives me receives the one who sent me. Amen? If you're going to receive the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua. Si vamos a recibir al Mesías judío Yeshua. If you're going to receive him, si vas a recibirlo a él. You also have to receive the one who sent him. También tienes que recibir a aquel que le, lo envió. You can't have one without the other. No puedes tener al uno sin el otro. You can't have the son without the father. No puedes tener solo al hijo sin el padre. And the father doesn't change nor does Yeshua. Y el Padre no cambia tampoco Yeshua. So if you're accepting Yeshua into your hearts, entonces si estás aceptando a Yeshua en tu corazón, you must fully, Claudia, understand His Father. Debes completamente entender a su Padre. And if the Father says keep kosher, y si el Padre dice guarda kosher, then you have to keep kosher. Entonces tienes que guardar kosher. If the Father says you got to keep the Sabbath, si el Padre dice tienes que guardar el sábado. Amara, if you want to accept Yeshua, si quieres aceptar a Yeshua, you got to keep the Sabbath also. Tienes que guardar el sábado también. You must receive the total word or none of the word. Tienes que recibir la palabra total o nada de la palabra. With God, you can't be sometimes married. Porque con Dios no puedes estar casado solo de vez That's en cuando. That's called process. Eso se llama prostitución. I want to be married to her for an hour. Quiero estar casada con ella por una hora. And I'll give her $150. Y le daré 150 dólares. That's what God does not want. Eso es lo que Dios no quiere. Oh, it shouldn't be the battery. Let me just fix this here. Because I put new batteries here. Okay, if you want to receive Yeshua... Si quieres recibir a Yeshua, you have to receive his father the total word. Vas a tener que recibir del padre la palabra completa. Okay? The key concept for today's message el, uh, con, el concepto clave para este mensaje is not to fall into the trap of the enemy. Es el no caer en la trampa del enemigo. And who is the enemy? ¿Y quién es el enemigo? Satan is our enemy. Satanás es nuestro enemigo. Look at verse 21. Veamos al verso 21. After saying this, Yeshua, in deep anguish of spirit, declared, yes, indeed, I tell you that one of you will betray me. Amen? Amen. The key here La clave aquí. is Yeshua saying, Como dice Yeshua, somebody is going to betray him. Alguien lo traicionará. It should set everything else up. 
debere, debería poner el resto. That your attention should be fat now focused if you are sitting there. De que tu atención ahora debe estar enfocado si hay alguien que está sentado allí. That somebody close to him that's been walking with him for three years. Que alguien que ha estado cerca de él que ha estado por tres años. Somebody who has been walking with the word. Alguien que ha caminado con la palabra. Now listen to this concept. Escuchen el concepto. Somebody who's supposedly been walking with the word Alguien que supuestamente estuvo caminando con la palabra is now going to betray Yeshua. Ahora va a traicionar a Yeshua. That's why also even in the congregation. Por eso incluso en la congregación. Well, he's a brother. He would never do that. No es un hermano. Él nunca haría oh, eso. Oh my goodness. It happens even worse in the congregation. Ha pasado incluso peor en la congregación. That's why Yeshua said por eso es que Yeshua dice we need to be as wise as a serpent, tenemos que ser sabios como una serpiente and as gentle as a dove. y suaves como una paloma. Because here Yeshua was saying it at Passover, Porque Yeshua está diciendo aquí en la Pascua somebody close to me like Clarabel, alguien cerca a mí como Claribel, somebody close to me like Clarabel alguien cerca a mí como Claribel It's going to betray me. Me va a traicionar. Clarabel would never do that. Claribel nunca me Luz would do that, but Clarabel wouldn't. Luz lo haría, pero Clarabel no. No, Matt, but if you were sitting at that table, si estás sentado en la mesa, listen to this concept. Escuchen el concepto. If you were sitting there, si están sentados allí, wouldn't you, like, like who is it? No diría, no, who no, is it? No comenzaría a I'll take him out, Lord. ¿Quién es? Yo lo, oh, yo lo golpearé, Señor. I'll get, oh, I'll get, My knife out. Yo voy a sacar mi cuchillo. Somebody's going to betray you. Alguien te va a traicionar. I'll cut his beard off. Le voy a cortar la barba. I'll give him a Cuban necktie. Le daré una, le daré una corbata cubana. But wouldn't that get your interest peaked? Pero no te, no te llamaría la atención. I'd be listening very closely. Me está escuchando muy de cerca. I mean, somebody I, I've been friends with for three years is going to do that to you, Yeshua. Alguien que ha sido amigo de nosotros por tres años te va a hacer a ti eso, Yeshua. Who is it? ¿Quién es? Who is it? ¿Quién es? Who is it? ¿Quién es? Is it Peter? ¿Es Pedro? Yochanan. Yochanan. I didn't like the way he looked anyway. No me gustaba la, minar, la manera que miraba. See how he wore his beard? ¿Ves cómo se pone su barba? It always was like this or something Siempre like that. Siempre está así desordenada o algo así. And he always kept doing shift the eyes, shift the eyes, shift the eyes. Siempre está moviendo los ojos, mirando de lado a lado. You have to go by the words, not the look. Tienes que mirar la palabra, no la, la yeah. manera que se ve. You have to go by the actions. Tienes que mirar las acciones. Not by a look. No por lo que se parece. Look at verse 21. Veamos al verso 21. After saying this, Yeshua, in deep anguish of spirit, declared, Yes, indeed, I tell you that one of you will betray me. Amen? Amen. Now, here, we need to understand the word anguish. Aquí necesitamos entender la palabra angustia. I'm going to read a very long definition. Voy a leer una definición larga. And then Veronica will read it in Spanish. Y después la leeremos en español. The Greek word is terazo. It means, one, to agitate, trouble a thing by a movement of its parts to and fro. Number two, to cause one inward commotion, take away his calmness of mind, disturb his equanimity. Number three, dis uh, disquiet, make restless. Number four, to strike one's spirit with fear and dread. Amen. Para la palabra angustia, la definición es uno, para agitar, problemas, algo por el movimiento de sus partes de un lado al otro. Dos, para causar una conmoción interior, quitarle la tranquilidad de su mente, per perturbar su ecuanimidad. Tres, para etiquetar, no, para inquietar, hacer intranquilo. Cuatro, golpear el espíritu de uno con miedo y temor. Ok, so Yeshua says, He's in anguish. Yeshua dice que está en angustia. He's agitated by 
this event that's going on around him. Fue agitado por este evento que está sucediendo con alrededor de él. He has dread in his spirit. Él, él uh, está golpeado en el espíritu. Are you doing that to the Messiah? Estás haciendo eso al Mesías. Are you making him dread your presence? Le estás haciendo que él uh, uh, um, no le guste su pre tu presencia, perturba oh. tu, su presencia. Oh, you know, here comes that guy Andrew again. Oh. Ahí viene Andrew otra vez. You know, You know, do you want God thinking that about you? ¿Quieres que Dios piense acerca de ti? Oh, well, here comes Juan. Ahí viene Juan. He's going to just keep bugging me about something stupid now. Va a seguir molestándome de algo estúpido. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Juan, talk to the wall. Sí, sigue hablando con la pared. Oh, oh no, it's Gabriel. Oh, oh it's Oh no, not get, get, tell him I'm busy. Diga Gabriel que estoy ocupado. I'm playing golf. Estoy jugando golf. I'm taking in a Broadway show. I oh, can't estoy, listen to his prayer. Oh, estoy en una en un show de Broadway, no puedo escuchar. Okay? So here Yeshua is saying, Yeshua aquí está diciendo, I have an inward commotion going on in me. Tengo una conmoción interna dentro de mí. I don't have calmness anymore, Darwin. Ya no tengo calma. I don't have any calmness because of this event that's going on. No tengo calma de este evento que está sucediendo. Now, if you've been walking with Messiah for Ahora, all that time, si has estado caminando con el Mesías todo ese tiempo, wouldn't you then be agitated? No estuvieras tú agitado también. Oh, Lord, what, what's wrong, man? ¿Qué te pasa, señor? Dude, you, know, you, know, you do that for friends, right? Tú haces eso por amigos. You know, some guy comes walking in the work. Si algún amigo de o compañero viene de trabajo caminando. And you know, see him dragging his right arm and right leg. Y le ves que está jalando su mano derecha y su pie izquierdo derecho. And you're like, what happened? Es que te pasa. I don't know. I woke up because I talk. Me desperté y no puedo hablar. Um, dude, you might want to go to the hospital. Quizá quieras ir al hospital. You know, I guess it's funny from places in my head. <laughs> okay, you have concern with people. Tienes preocupación por esa gente. But do you have concern for the Lord and His feelings? Pero tiene estás preocupado por el Señor y sus uh, sentimientos. Did the disciples, did the Talmudim, será que los Talmudim show concern for Messiah at this point? Mostraron preocupación por el Mesías hasta este punto. You know, Yeshua was disturbed because he knew the betrayal that was coming. Yeshua estaba perturbado porque sabía el juicio que venía. He's restless because of the betrayal that's coming. Te estaba agitado por la, eh, lo que, el problema que iba a venir. You know, how could this person that's going to betray him? ¿Cómo esta persona que lo va a traicionar? How could how could he betray him? ¿Cómo él podría traicionarlo? You know, Yeshua fed 5,000 people in Ye front of him. Yeshua alimentó a 5,000 personas en frente de él. 7,000 people. 7,000 personas. He raised the dead after four days being dead. Él hizo resucitar al muerto, al muerto que estaba muerto después de cuatro días. And now this person is living in his midst. Y ahora esta gente está viviendo en, su, en medio de él. How could somebody... ¿Cómo podría alguien who walked with Messiah for three and a half years, que caminó con el Mesías por tres años y medio how in one moment, ¿Cómo en un momento how in one moment, ¿Cómo en un momento could that person turn? pudo esta persona uh, regres retroceder? It's a lesson for all of us to learn. Es una lección para todos nosotros el aprender. It's a lesson for all of us to learn. Es una lección para todos nosotros el aprender. That the one and only one that you trust in. Que el uno, el único en el que confías. The one who will never leave you or forsake you. El único que nunca te dejará o te olvidará. That is Messiah Yeshua. Ese es el Mesías Yeshua. You can't even trust in me 100%. Ni siquiera puedes confiar en mí 100%. Because I'm not God. Porque yo no soy Because Dios. Because if I were porque si yo fuera Dios, right habría algunas personas muertas ahora. Si tuviera rayos en mis dedos. Oh, that driver the other day. Ese chofer el día that el otro driver día. The other day. Ese chofer de, el my, otro my, día. My wife tried to make me broccoli last night. Mi esposa trató de hacerme mm. comer brócoli ayer. Okay. Ugh. So here, a lesson to be learned here. Una lección que debemos aprender aquí is when things go bad, es que cuando las cosas van mal, the one you can always trust in, el único en el que tú puedes confiar, will never leave you, 
que nunca te dejará, que nunca te olvidará, es el Mesías Yeshua mismo. Y digamos que estás sentado en la mesa, estás en la mesa de Pascua, has estado caminando con Yeshua todos estos años. Yo nunca hice una cosa así. Yo nunca hice cosas así. But we're gonna learn something today, would you? Pero vamos a aprender algo hoy. Would you? Marías? Things are going bad. Las cosas están yendo mal. You haven't eaten in a few days. No has comido en algunos días. You haven't drank water in a few days. No has tomado agua en algunos días. Because there's war and famine going on. Porque hay guerra y hambruna pasando. Your child has died. Tu hijo ha muerto. Are you going to turn against Yeshua? Vas tú a ponerte en contra de Yeshua. Think about it. Piensa acerca de eso. Look at verse 25 through 27. Veamos a los versos 25 al 27. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, It's the one whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kiryot. As soon as Yehuda took the piece of matzah, the adversary went into him. What you are doing, do quickly, Yeshua de said to him. Amen? Amen. Now, Yeshua always offers terms for peace. Yeshua siempre ofrece términos de paz. God, before he goes to war with anybody, Dios, antes de que vaya a la guerra en contra de alguien, he offers ter terms for peace. Le ofrece términos de paz. He says, the one, the one, Él dice, aquel, that I dip the matzah in, aquel al que de la matzah, now, Here's a key question. Aquí hay una pregunta clave. They're sitting at Passover. Están sentados en la Pascua. What are the three main elements of Passover? ¿Cuáles son los tres principales elementos de la Pascua? What are the three main elements of Passover? ¿Cuáles son los tres principales elementos de la Pascua? What are the three main elements of Passover? ¿Cuáles son los tres principales elementos? Sergio, what's what's three things that you need? Give me one thing that you need for Passover. No, wine is not uh, necessary. Matzah. Okay, one second. Matzah. Second. What is the three things that we must have? Lamb. Lamb, Lamb two. El cordero. The bitter herbs. Y las hierbas amargas. The bitter herbs. Las hierbas amargas. Now picture this scene. Imagínate esta escena. Yeshua says, Yeshua dice, the one I dip The matzah in and give it to. Aquel al que le doy la matzah. That person is going to betray me. Esta persona me va a traicionar. What's on the table? Que está en la mesa. Matzah. Matzah. And the bitter herbs. Y las hierbas amargas. So I'm dipping this thing into bitterness. Cuando eh, pone eh, pone un poco. Eh, cuando pone la matza en esta amargura, I'm dipping this in bitterness, le estoy uh, sumergiendo en, en amargura. And I'm gonna give it to this person who's gonna betray me. Y le voy a dar a esta persona que me traicionará. Ooh, that puts a whole different spin on what we're talking about now. Pone una una vuelta muy diferente a lo que estamos hablando. I'm gonna dip it in the bitterness of slavery. Voy a sumergirlo en la amargura de la esclavitud. Remember, these are all Jews sitting at the table. Recuerda que todos ellos son judíos sentados en la mesa. And what does a Jew, even a secular Jew, do every Passover? They sit down. To the meal. Y qué es lo que cada judío, incluso los seculares, hacen para you know, se sientan so, en la mesa. It's like the Christians. Es como el cristiano. You know, they're really not into the Word of God. No están realmente en la palabra de Dios. How many times do they go to church? Cuántas veces ellos van a la iglesia? Two, possibly three times, right? Dos, posiblemente Christmas, tres. Christmas, Navidad, New Year's, no año Easter. nuevo y la cuaresma. Mother, Mother's Day, okay, Mother's el Day. El día de la madre. <laughs> okay, okay, Mother's Day. <laughs> And, de well, yeah, I guess in the Latin world you got to go for Mother's Day, okay? Creo que en el mundo latino debe ir por día de la madre. Now let's read this again, verse 25 to 27. Leamos los versos 24, 25 al 27. See, sí. leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, "Lord, who is it?" Yeshua answered, "It's the one to whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish." 
So he dipped it, piece of matzah, and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kiryot. As soon as Yehuda took the piece of matzah, the adversary went into him. What you're doing, do quickly, amen? Amen. Okay. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. Okay? So he, do, he, say, he gives him the matzah. Él les da la matzah. But here, let's take a, a look first. Pero miremos primero. John leans into Yeshua's chest. Juan se recuesta en el pecho de Yeshua. Yochanan leads into Yeshua's chest. Juan se recuesta en el pecho de Yeshua. Why does he lean into his chest? ¿Por qué está reposando en el pecho de What's Yeshua? What's located in your chest? ¿Qué está localizado en tu pecho? What's on either side over here? ¿Qué está en el lado de aquí? The lungs, los uh, pulmones, and your hearts. Y tu corazón. These are the two things that are in your chest. Estas son las dos cosas que están en lungs. Las tres cosas, and tus hearts. pulmones y tu y tu corazón. Things you can't live without. Cosas con las que tú no puedes sobrevivir. You can live without your kidney. Puedes vivir sin riñón. You can live without your spleen. Puedes vivir sin uh, spleen. La spleen. Ah. Uh, Forget about it. Spleen. Okay. Uh, you can live Spleen. without your, 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 your kidneys, Puedes vivir sin your tu livers, riñones, tu riño, tu hígado. but you can't live without your lungs. Pero tú no puedes vivir sin tus pulmones. Why did he lean back into him? ¿Por qué es que él se recostó en él? Why did he lean back into him? ¿Por qué se recostó en él? Why specifically does he say the chest? ¿Por qué específicamente dice en el pecho? Shh. He leans back into his chest. Él se recuesta en su pecho. He doesn't lean up on the table. No se recuesta en la mesa. He doesn't tap his thigh. No, no le golpea la, la, la pierna. Why the chest? ¿Por qué el pecho? He say because you don't have a breath of life from me. Porque no tienes un aliento de vida para mí. You don't have a heart for my word. Porque no tienes un corazón para mi palabra. Now I'm going to be taking this piece of matzah. Ahora voy a quitar este pedazo de matzah. And give it to somebody. Y darle a alguien. Who I'm going to take their breath away. Que voy a quitarle el aliento. Because how did Yehuda die? Porque cómo es que murió Yehuda? He hung himself. Él se colgó. He took his breath away. Él se quitó el aliento. Oh, welcome to Beth Goyim. Amen. And he didn't have his heart. Y no tenía su corazón. The heart is where our life is. El corazón es donde la vida está. So John Juan leans back into him. Se recuesta sobre él, sobre su pecho. He leans back into him. Y se recuesta sobre he su pecho. He leans back into his chest specifically. Sobre su pecho específicamente dice. Because you're the one who gives us the breath of life. Porque él es el que nos da el aliento de la vida. How did God make Adam come alive? ¿Cómo es que Dios hizo que Adam tome vida? He took the two paddles, right? Le tomó con dos. Clear, bing. <laughs> le dio a, a shocks eléctricos. He blew into his nose. No, él él le dio aliento de vida en su nariz. He blew his nose, but backwards. Él uh, sopló su nariz pero de la otra manera. He blew up the balloon. Él uh, uh, infló el, el globo. Because your lungs are like balloons. Porque tus pulmones son como globos. Your lungs can get deflated. Tus pulmones no pu eh, pueden ser desinflados. So God blew his balloon. El Señor uh, infló su And he made his lungs start working. E hizo que sus pulmones comiencen and a trabajar. And he gave them breath of life. Y les dio el aliento de vida. Look at verse 25 and 26, please. Versos 25 y 26. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, it, it's the one to whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah 
and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kariot. Amen? Amen. Yeshua answered, let's say the word answered the Talmudim. Yeah, um, what? Yeshua said, Yeshua dijo, but let's just say it a little bit better. Digámoslo mejor. The word la palabra answered the Talmudim. Respondió al Talmudim. The word, and see, when you talk to God, cuando hablas con Dios, He will give you a word. Él te dará una palabra. The word will answer you. La palabra te responderá. The word says, la palabra dice, the one I'm giving the matzah, aquel que doy la matzah, and the maror, the bitterness to, y la amargura, you're going to betray me. Tú me traicionarás. So if God says in His Word, Pero Dios dice en su palabra, by doing this, you're going to betray me, cuando hago esto, tú me traicionarás. would you keep doing that action? Seguirás tú con esa acción. Now, picture yourself at the table. Imagínate tú en la mesa. You're at the table, Ranieri. Tú estás en la mesa. You're at the table. Tú estás en la Yeshua mesa. says, Yeshua dice, now, you're, you're one of his Talmudim right now. Tú eres uno de sus Talmudim. Joshua, you're one of his Talmudim. Joshua, tú eres uno de sus Sergio, Talmudim. Sergio, you're one of his Talmudim. Tú eres uno de sus David, Talmudim. David, you're one of the, oh, Ivan. Tú eres uno de los you're one of the Talmudim. Tú eres uno de los Talmudim. Oscar, you're one of the Talmudim. Tú eres uno de los Talmudim. Dayon? Okay, you're one of the Talmudim. Tú también eres uno de los Talmudim. Right, so Yeshua says, Yeshua dijo, the one that I give this to, aquel al que doy esto, the one I give this to, al, aquel que le doy esto, what do you think he was doing this? Pensaste que él estaba haciendo esto. The one I give aquel this to, aquel al que le doy esto, the one I give this to, al, aquel que le doy esto, you're going to betray the word. Tú vas a, a traicionar a la palabra. What would you do with your hands? ¿Qué harías con tus manos? Oh, please. Por favor. Dámelo. Please give me some more, Claudia. Dame más, dame más. Claudia, what would you do? ¿Qué harías tú? Felix, what would you do? ¿Qué harías tú? I'm going to sit on my hand. I ain't taking that. Yo voy a sentarme y yo no tomo eso. Yo me voy a sentar en mis manos. I don't run out of the house. Yo me salgo de la casa. But do you betray the word of God? Pero tú traicionarías la palabra de Dios. By taking the bitterness Cuando tomas la amargura and eating of the bitterness y comes de esa amargura that is against God. Que está en contra de Dios. Do you, because you don't want to follow His word, lo harías porque no quieres seguir su palabra. Do you eat of that bitterness? Comerías de esa amargura. Oh, maybe, maybe Judas was talking to somebody he didn't hear. Quizá Judas estuvo hablando con alguien y no escuchó. Remember, you're at Passover. Recuerda que estás en la Pascua. Three things must be at the Passover. Tres cosas deben haber en la Pascua. The maror, the bitterness. La amargura maror. The lamb, the Pesach. El cordero de, de Pascua. And matzah. Y matzah. The other stuff is there, but the three main ingredients are those. Las otras cosas están ahí, pero los principales ingredientes son esos. You're at a Passover. Tú estás en la Pascua. What is the purpose of Passover? ¿Cuál es el propósito de la Pascua? It is the, the time that we remember redemption. Es el tiempo de recordar redención. Redemption from man-made rules. Redención de las cosas hechas del hombre. We were in slavery for 430 years. Estuvimos en esclavitud por, por 430 años. Now the word is saying to Oscar. Ahora la palabra te está diciendo. Somebody here is going to betray me. Alguien aquí me traicionará. By eating this piece of matzah with the maror. Cuando come este pedazo de matzah con el maror. You're going to go right back into slavery. Tú vas a ir directamente a la esclavitud But otra you're, vez. You're supposed to be remembering. Pero deberías tú estar recordando. What Passover, Pesach is all about. De qué se trata la Pascua. But when you forget why you're there. Pero cuando te olvidas por qué estás allí. If you forget why you're do, you're even here on Shabbat. Cuando te olvidas por qué estás aquí en Shabbat. That you left paganism. Que tú dejaste el paganismo. You wanted to leave man-made rules. Y tú quieres dejar que te querías dejar las maneras hechas del hombre. You left Sunday worship. Dejaste la adoración del domingo. Seeking the truth of God in His Word. Buscando la palabra de Dios en su en su palabra. Now you're surrounded. Ahora estás rodeado. With fellow believers. Con creyentes como You're tú. at this Passover meal. Estás en esta comida de Pesach. You know, that's what was beautiful about our Passover, that we all get together. Esa era lo, lo hermoso de nuestra Pascua, que todos nos pudimos reunir. To share in the beauty together as a mishpucha. Para compartir en la, en, en la alegría como mishpucha. 
And you're seated at the table with the yes. word of God. Y está sentado en la mesa con la palabra de Yeshua Dios. Yeshua is the word of God, right? Yeshua es la palabra He de Dios. He is the word. Él es la palabra. The word's telling you. La palabra te está diciendo. If you do this, you're going to betray me. Si tú haces esto, me traicionarás. If you do this. Si tú haces esto. If you eat that ham sandwich, si Gabriel. Si tú comes ese sándwich de jamón. If you eat calamar. Si comes calamar. Scungile. Calamar. <laughs> You're going to betray the Lord. Tú traicionarás al Señor. If you're going to eat grape jelly on a bagel. <laughs> si vas a comer un bagel con, uh, con That is sacrilegious. Con uh, <laughs> con no. mermelada de uva es sacrilegio. And the, Lord, the word says. <laughs> la palabra de Dios dice. And the word says. Y la palabra dice. If you take that into your mouth. Si tú tomas dentro de eso en tu boca, si lo pones en tu if boca. If you take that consuelo. Si tú tomas eso. If you take that. Si tomas eso. But first he warns. Pero primero él advierte. God always warns you. Dios siempre advierte. That's what I love about our King Jorge. Eso es lo que yo amo de nuestro rey. He's so loving. Él es tan amoroso. So kind. Tan bueno. So merciful. Tan eh, piadoso. That before the hand, the left hand of fellowship comes down. Que antes de que la mano derecha de la amistad venga. Before he swings that club. Antes de que él golpee. He says, Renéri. Él va a decir. Renéri. Mi hijo, mi hijo, mucho problema. <laughs> I saw yours. Yo te vi. Okay, he says, somebody at the table. Él dice alguien en la mesa. I'm looking around. Estoy mirando. Yo voy a estar mirando. But first you look inside yourself. Am I Pero primero or? te miras tú mismo y dices, yo, yo seré el Ask que traiciona al Señor. Pregúntate. Are you betraying him? Estás tú traicionándolo. All right, in, in any part of your walk. Estás en alguna parte Abuelita, de tu caminar. In any part of your walk. En alguna parte de tu caminar. Are you betraying the word of God? Estás tú traicionando a la palabra de Dios. Look at verse 25 and 26. Again. Veamos a los versos 25 y 26. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, it's the one to whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kiryot. Amen? Amen. Yeshua takes the piece of matzah, Yeshua toma la pieza de matzah and dips it in the bitter herbs. Y lo, y lo moja con las hierbas amargas. And once again, we know it's the bitter herbs because we're told to have them on our Seder uh, table. Una vez más sabemos que son las hierbas amargas porque se nos dijo que debemos tenerlo en la mesa. And this is why you need to understand the Bible from a Hebraic perspective. Y esta es la razón que necesitas entender la Biblia por una perspectiva. Well, you know, he dipped it in what? Salsa? Y lo, lo mojó con qué? You know, con salsa. You know, are thinking that's what you guys are thinking. Como latinos, oh, tú crackers and salsa, salsa, perfect. Galletas y salsa, perfecto. Yeshua was being so nice to Yehuda. Yeshua estaba siendo simpático con you Yehuda. Know, some of the secular Jews are thinking, hey, um, some hummus would be good. Quizá los judíos piensan algún, algo de hummus sería mm. bueno. Matzah and garlic hummus go well together. Matzah y hummus de, gar, de um, ajo va bien. Uh, you know, Yeshua was being nice to Yehuda, right? Yeshua está siendo simpático con Yehuda. But you have to place yourself back in time. Pero tú tienes que, que regresar en, en el tiempo. We, we need to stop being Roman citizens. Que dejar de ser ciudadano romano. And we need to be Israelites. Y necesitas convertirte en Israelí. God's about to give you a spoonful of bitterness. Dios está a punto de darte una cucharada de amargura. Because your heart is not with him. Porque tu corazón no está con él. Do you take that bitterness from him and say, or do you say no? Tomas tú esa amargura de, de la mano de él o tú dices no. Look at verse 25 and 26 again. Veamos a los versos 25 y 26 otra vez. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, it's the one whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kiryot. Amen? Amen. From the hand of Messiah, de la mano del Mesías. He's about to give Yehuda 
bitterness. Él está a punto de darle a Yehuda amargura. Now here's the next step that really gets me. Aquí es el siguiente paso que me que me enoja. Now we need to look at this too. Necesitamos mirar a eso Pay también. Attention. Pon atención. Pay attention. This is an interesting part. Pon atención porque esto es una parte interesante. Yochanan had just leaned back into Yeshua's chest. Yochanan se recostó en el pecho de Yeshua. He knew the answer. Él sabía la respuesta. Yeshua says, "I'm who are, I'm going to give this piece of matzah." Yeshua le dijo al aquel que dé esta esta pieza de matzah. To the one who's going to betray me. Será el que me traicione. Now who's at the table? ¿Quiénes están en la mesa? All Hebrews, right? All Jewish people, Toda right? Toda la gente judía, todos hebreos. So Yochanan and Yehuda are cousins. Yochanan y Yehuda son primos. Stop there a second. Detente ahí. You're sitting at the table with your mishpocha, your Estás familia. Estás sentado en la mesa con tu mishpocha, tu familia. Yochanan is a cousin to Yehuda. Yohanan es primo de Yehuda. Because we all go back to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, right? Porque todos regresamos a la línea de Abraham, Yitzhak, We're y Yaakov. We're part of the twelve tribes. Somos parte de las doce tribus. That's a cousin. Él es un primo. The word of God. La palabra de is Dios. Is about to give. Está a punto de dar. Salud. The word of God is about to give la palabra de Dios está bitterness a dar to your cousin amargura a tu primo and you know the answer y tú sabes la respuesta that, that, that Yehuda is about to betray Yeshua. Que Yehuda está a punto de traicionar a Yeshua. What would you do? ¿Qué haces tú? You're, you're sitting at the table, everybody. Tú estás sentado en la Picture mesa. Picture this. Imagínate esto. You're at esto. the table and he's about to give to Yehuda y él está a punto de darle a Yehuda the bitterness. What, what do you do? No, 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 don't do that. Haces? No, no lo hagas, no lo hagas. Brother, don't do, don't do that, brother. No hagas eso, hermano. You're no. healed. Estás curado. <laughs> What do you do? ¿Qué haces? You had the answer. Tienes la respuesta. You had the answer. Tú tenías la respuesta. We have the answer. Tenemos la respuesta. Are we doing this for our family? Estamos haciendo esto por nuestra familia. It doesn't matter if our family gets angry at us. No importa si nuestra familia se enoja con nosotros. We need to do whatever in our power to stop them. Tenemos que hacer lo que sea que esté en nuestro poder para detener esto. John, Yohanan knew the answer. Juan, Yohanan sabía la respuesta. The one I dip the matzah into the dish. Aquel que que mojo la matza en el plato. And I give it to. Y le doy. That cousin of yours. Ese primo tuyo. That cousin of yours, Juan. Ese primo tuyo, Juan. I didn't like him anyway. No me caía bien de todas maneras. Good, I hated him. Ya ya comió. Remember the way you forgive your brother. Recuerda la manera que tú perdonas a tu hermano. The way you're going to be forgiven. Es la manera que tú serás perdonado. You know the truth. Tú sabes la verdad. Yochanan, knowing the truth. Yochanan, conociendo la verdad. He, he didn't even yell out. Ni siquiera gritó. Yehuda, don't touch it. Dijo, no le dijo Yehuda, no lo toques. You. Siéntate en tus manos. Look, a bird. Mira un pajarito. Look a fire! Mira fuego. Gun! Una What's pistola. Gun? ¿Qué es pistola? Look, Roman soldier! Un soldado romano. Look, my pants are on fire. <laughs> Mis pants. He didn't even try to do anything. Él no trató de hacer nada. He didn't try to do anything. Él no trató de hacer nada. Do you? Do you fall into John's Yochanan's category? Caes tú en la categoría de Juan. Or do you want the too? O quieres tú la amargura también. Do you want the too? Quieres tú la amargura también. Yeshua, said, the one I'm gonna give this to. Yeshua dijo a aquel que yo dé esto. The one I'm gonna give this to. A aquel que voy a dar esto. One of your cousins, one of your family. Uno de tus primos, uno de tus familiares. Look at verse 25 and 26. Vamos los versos 25 y 26. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, asked, asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, it's the one who I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kiryot. Amen? He does a two-step process. 
Él dice, él hace un proceso de dos pasos. He does a two step, you have two times. Tenías dos oportunidades. This piece of matzah. Este pedazo de matzah. I would say, everybody listen up. Todos escuchen. Don't take the matzah from Yeshua. No cojan el matzah de Yeshua. What? ¿Qué? He just told me the answer. I heard the answer. I heard, ah, uh, me. Él me dijo la respuesta. Me, 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 a mí, me, a mí, me, a mí. me. I heard the answer. Yo escuché la respuesta. Don't take the matzah. No tomen el matzah. Don't drink the milk. Why? It's spoiled. No tomen la leche. Está dañada. Spoiled rascals. De los rascos. <laughs> Don't do it. No lo hagas. Then Yeshua says, the one I, I, I'm going to dip it. El Yeshua dice, de aquel que le voy a dar la matzah a mojar. He gives him a second chance. Le da una segunda oportunidad. Ivan, but he doesn't do anything. Pero él no hace nada. Why didn't he try? ¿Por qué no, por qué no, no trató? Why didn't Yochanan try? ¿Por qué Yochanan no trató? Maybe he wasn't ready to accept his role as a leader. Quizá no estaba listo para aceptar su papel como líder. But as disciples of Yeshua, pero como discípulos de Yeshua, we need to take our role as leaders. Necesitamos tomar nuestro papel como líderes. Because we're to be the head and not the tail. Porque nosotros debemos ser la cabeza y no la cola. Look at verse 27 and 28. Veamos los versos 27 y 28. As soon as Yehuda took the piece of matzah, the adversary went into him. What you're doing, do quickly, Yeshua said. But no one at the table understood why he had said this to him. Amen? Amen. Yochanan knew. Yochanan sabía. Yochanan knew. Yochanan sabía. He was told directly Al se le dijo that directamente the doctor was in the house. Que el doctor estaba en casa. He was told directly by the word of God. Al se le dijo directamente por la palabra de Dios. This is how you are going to betray me. Así es como tú me traicionarás. The word of God, the great physician, la palabra de Dios, el gran médico, is telling us today on Shabbat. Nos está diciendo nosotros en Shabbat. This is how we betray him. Así es como lo traicionamos. John knew. Yochanan knew. Juan sabía. He knew the truth. Él sabía la verdad. And it did not set him free. Y no lo liberó. And all this takes place on Pesach, the day of the beginning of our freedom. Y todo esto pasó en Pesach, en el comienzo de nuestra libertad. He was told directly by the lips of the word. A él se dijo directamente de los, desde los labios de la palabra. The one who takes this. Aquel que tome esto. If you take that lollipop from Satan. Si tú tomas esa, ese chupete de Satanás. You take that sweetness from Satan. Tú tomarás esa dulzura de Satanás. Then you're going to hell. Entonces irás al, al infierno. Yeshua says it openly. Yeshua lo ha dicho abiertamente. To everybody. A todos. The one who I give this piece of matzah. A aquel que dé este pedazo de matzah. After I dip it in the bitterness of des, slavery. Después de que lo, lo moje en la amargura de la esclavitud. See, this is why you got to understand Passover. Esto por esta razón debes entender this is why you got to understand why we're to do this every year. Por eso debes entender por qué estamos haciendo esto cada the Christian año. Church, oh, we're doing Santa Cena every month. La iglesia dice estamos haciendo la Santa Cena oh, cada mes. Oh, take the cracker. Comemos una galletita. You know, and the Catholics do. This has become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Y los católicos le mandan, levantan la hostia. And they, they do it every Sunday. Y lo hacen cada domingo. Because they don't understand what they're doing. Porque no entienden lo que están haciendo. They're taking the heat. This has not become the body and blood of Messiah. Este no se ha convertido en el cuerpo la sangre you de Messiah. You know Messias. why? Because God said it's finished. ¿Sabes done. Por qué? Finito. Porque dice Zippo. Gone. Done. Se acabó. Terminó. But each and every Sunday, the Catholics are re-crucifying him. Pero cada semana los católicos lo están volviendo a crucificar. And when you're doing, if you're in a church that does the Santa Cena thing every every month, y si tú estás en una iglesia que hace la Santa Cena cada mes, you're doing the exact same thing the Catholics are doing every week. Estás haciendo lo mismo que los católicos hacen cada semana. The Word of God says. La palabra de Dios dice. The one I give this to. A aquel que le doy well, maybe esto. Maybe we'll slow it down a little bit. O quizá vamos más despacio. We'll do it a little southern like. Vamos a hacer un poco de despacio. I want to give this piece, this cracker here. Aquel que le doy, voy a dar este pedazo de dulce. And I dip it in the jalapeno sauce. 
Lo voy a poner en la salsa de jalapeño. The really hot jalapeño sauce that I just made. La salsa de jalapeño muy picante uh, que that es. That one, that 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 man that here's going going to betray me. Ese hombre es el que me va a traicionar. Billy Bob, don't take that 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 thing from him. Billy Bob, no tomes esa cosa. Kathleen, don't take that thing from him. Kathleen, no le quites eso. No le des eso. Billy Bob, don't do it, Billy Bob. No lo hagas, Billy Bob. Break away from your daddy, Billy Bob. Aléjate de ahí, Billy Bob. There was a two-step process that happened. Hubieron dos pasos que pasaron. But here, it says in verse 28. Pero aquí en el verso 28. They didn't understand. No entendieron. Are you seeing the Passover now for the very first time? Estás mirando la Pascua por la primera vez, por primera vez. Are you vez. seeing John 13 in the light of Messiah's eyes now? Estás mirando a Juan 13 con los ojos del Mesías ahora. How many people saw that all these cousins were sitting at the table? ¿Cuánta gente miró que todos estos primos estaban sentados en la mesa? And John's a cousin. Juan es un primo. He's a cousin to Yehuda. Es el primo de Yehuda. He didn't try to save his brother's life. Él no trató de salvar la vida de su hermano. For the word says when you take of the world. Pero la la palabra dice que cuando tomes de When when you supersede God's word. Cuando tú sobrepasas la palabra de Dios. Things of Satan. Con las cosas de Satanás. You taste a bitterness. Has probado esa amargura. And bitterness leads to death. Y la amargura lleva a la muerte. Because you didn't remember what Passover was about. Porque tú no recordaste de qué se trataba la Pascua. Pesach is about leaving man's ways. La Pascua también se trata de dejar las maneras del hombre. And walking with God. Y caminando con Dios. And that's why Yeshua's name is Im Anuel. It's Por not eso Emmanuel. el nombre de Yeshua es Im Anuel. Im Anuel. Im Anuel. Not Emmanuel. No Emmanuel. Im Anuel. Im Anuel. Is a Jewish phrase. Es una frase judía. It means with us God. Que dice con nosotros Dios. With us God. Con nosotros Dios. You're sitting at the table with the Mashiach Nagi, the Messiah, the Prince. Está sentado en la mesa con el Mashiach Nagi, el Mesías. The Príncipe. Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. El Sar Shalom, el Príncipe de Paz. And he says. Y él te dice. The one that I take this bread of affliction. Da aquel que doy este pan de aflicción. Who doesn't remember why he's sitting at this table? Que no recuerda ni siquiera por qué está sentado en esta mesa. Why he walked with me for all this time? Por qué caminó conmigo todo este tiempo. I'm going to give this piece of bread of affliction. Voy a darle este pedazo de pan de aflicción. Because he doesn't remember that I set him free. Porque él no recuerda que lo liberé. I'm going to dip it in the maror so maybe he'll remember. Voy a voy a mojarlo en el maror así recordará. Because it's right in front of him. Porque está sentado enfrente de él. Now none of the, the Talmudim they understood they didn't understand it. Ahora todos los Talmudim no lo entendía el resto no See, lo entendía. That's what happens. Eso es lo que pasó. When you walk with God but you don't walk with Cuando God. Cuando caminas con Dios pero no caminas con Dios. Let me say that again. Déjame decir otra vez. That's what happens when you walk with God. Eso pasa cuando caminas con Dios. But you don't walk with God. Pero no caminas con yes, Dios. Yes, I've come to Shabbat. Sí, yo voy a Shabbat. Yes, I'm doing my shift. Estoy haciendo mi mi tiempo. I wish that fat guy would shut up now so I can go to the bathroom. Deseo que ese hombre gordo se calle si me puedo ir. You okay? See, when you don't really walk with God, cuando realmente no caminas con Dios, Passover means nothing to you. La Pascua no significa nada para ti. You don't understand the reason why we're celebrating. Tú no entiendes la razón que la estamos celebrando. And then God says, "I'll give you bitterness. You don't want me. You don't want the word." Y Dios dice, "Te daré amargura. No quieres, no quieres de mí." But the rest of the guys didn't understand either. Pero el resto de los hombres no entendían tampoco. You know, as soon as Yeshua picked up the matzah, tan pronto Yeshua tomó el matzah. Everybody should have went, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Can we talk about this?" Todos debían de haber dicho, "Espera, te podemos hablar esto." They were walking with him, but they were not in their leadership role yet. Estaban caminando con él, pero no estaban en su papel de liderazgo. And verse, look at verse 29 and 30. This even tells you more. Y veamos a los versos 29 y 30 y te dirá incluso más. Some thought that since Yehuda was in charge of the common purse, Yeshua was telling him, 
buy what we need for the festival or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as he had taken the piece of matzah, Yehuda went out and it was night. Amen? Amen. It's a holy day, Talmudin. Es un día santo, Talmudin. Do we go food shopping on holy days, you banana heads? Nosotros salimos a hacer compras en los días santos, cabeza de banana. But see, they were, they were walking with the word of God. Ven que están caminando con la palabra de Dios. But they were not understanding. Pero no estaban entendiendo. Go buy what we need. We, we already ate. Ve a comprar lo que necesitamos What, we need y more ya wine, comimos. Felix? You know, go, go, go to the kitchen. Get me some more wine. ¿Será que necesitamos más vino? Ve y tráeme de la cocina. Joshua, we'll go to the bodega down the end of the street and go o get nos, something? O nos vamos a la tienda a comprar algo. You know? See, they were not walking with the word of God yet. Ellos no estaban caminando con la palabra de Dios aún. They were walking with Estaban caminando con. But they were not understanding pero no estaban entendiendo the blessings that were there for them. las bendiciones que estaban ahí para ellos. Same with us. Lo mismo con nosotros. How many times have you read this? ¿Cuántas veces has leído esto? How many people can honestly say you ever looked at it like this before? ¿Cuánta gente puede decir que lo ha visto de esa manera antes? Well, praise God. Because I want you loving Messiah. Porque quiero que ames al Mesías. I want you understanding the king. Yo quiero que entiendas al rey. That's what he's looking for. Eso es lo que él está buscando. He's looking for ten people that love him. Él está buscando por diez personas que lo aman. That would stand in the gap. Que se van a parar you know, the, en este. The church always talks about standing in the gap. La iglesia habla de pararse en la, entre la entre la abertura. Would you dive across the table? Eh, te, tú te um, lanzarías de, de lo, del frente de la mesa. Would you dive across the table? Te lanzarías de la frente de la mesa. Danny sitting over there. Okay. Would you Don't Gabriel man, don't do it. No lo hagas, Gabriel, no lo hagas. Would you do that? Harías tú eso. Would you do that to save somebody's life? Harías tú eso para salvar la vida a alguien. Your cousin. Tu primo. The people you love. La persona a la que amas. Well, you, you're talking about the God. So, yes, I am. Estoy hablando de Dios. Sí, lo hago. I wanted to take a picture of my my sink this morning. Quiero que tomen una, una, una quise que tomen I una go, fotografía. Hey, California. Running water. California está con agua. Just going down the drain because I can. Yo, puede irse por el por el escosado porque yo puedo. Torah and Yeshua. Perfect together. Torah y Yeshua juntos. Perfecto. Would you do that for your brother? Harías eso por tu hermano. Would you do that for your sister? Harías eso por tu hermana. Smack the ham sandwich out of their, their face. Golpear el sándwich de jamón de la cara. Don't do de... that. No lo hagas. What are you doing, you freak? ¿Qué estás haciendo, tú? Get loco? out of my house. All right, cool. Sale de mi casa. Está bien. Then Yeshua says, "Take your shalom with you." Entonces Yeshua dice, "Llévate tu shalom contigo." Are you willing? To go that far in the times that we're living in. Estás dispuesto a llegar hasta ese punto en los tiempos que vivimos. In verse 29. En el verso 29. You can see that the Talmudin had not left the Hellenistic society they were living in. Tú puedes vivir, puedes mirar que los Talmudin han dejado la sociedad helenística en la que vivían. Let's put it into perspective. Pongamos en perspectiva. From between the book of Malachi. Entre el libro de Malaquías In the book of Matthew, y el libro de Mateo so 400 year period. Son, hay un periodo de 400, 400 años. Years. Hay un periodo de 400 años. Se llama el periodo muerto porque Dios no habló. Now Israel, had been conquered a bunch of times. Israel fue conquistado muchas veces. And each time the society became more sec secular. Y cada vez la sociedad se volvía más secular. You can see that in verse 29. Puedes ver eso en el verso 29. They were walking with Messiah. Estaban caminando con el Mesías. But they were not understanding the words he was saying. Pero no estaban entendiendo las palabras que él decía. They thought Yehuda was going to go buy something. El pens pensaron que Yehuda iba a comprar algo. Hey guys, it's Pesach. Es Pascua. We don't go and buy on Kadosh Mikras, on holy convocations. Nosotros no vamos a hacer compras en uh, convocaciones santas. Which part of Vayikra 23 didn't you understand, Peter? ¿Qué parte de Vayikra 23 no entendiste, Pedro? I don't Pedro? know how Yeshua put up with them. No sé cómo Yeshua se aguantó con ellos. I don't know how he puts up with us. Yo no sé cómo él se aguanta con nosotros. Aren't you exasperated by what you're reading? Esta, no estás enojándote con lo que lees. Look in the mirror. 
Mírate en el espejo. Look in the mirror. Mira en el espejo. Look in the mirror. Look, mira en el espejo. I'm not in charge of your salvation. Yo no estoy a cargo de tu salvación. The man that was sitting at the table, Yeshua. El hombre he que is. estaba sentado en la mesa, Yeshua, él lo es. He is forgiving. Él es perdonador. He is forgiving. Él perdona. We don't buy on that day, guys. No compramos en ese día, muchachos. Look at verse 30. Vamos al verso 30. As soon as he had taken the piece of matzah, Yehuda went out, and it was night. Amen. Amen. When we walked out of Egypt, cuando caminamos de Egipto, when we left Egypt, cuando dejamos Egipto, how many people think it was evening? Cuántos pensaron que era la tarde? When we left Egypt, it was evening. Cuando dejamos Egipto era la tarde. How many people think it was morning? Cuántos piensan que era la mañana? When we left Egypt, cuando dejamos Egipto, how many people say I don't know? Cuántos dicen yo no sé? <laughs> okay. When we walked out of Egypt, cuando salimos de Egipto, hold your place real quick. Mantengan su lugar. We're going to go to the reference numbers 33. Vamos a números 33. Numbers 33 verse 3. Numbers 33 so verso 3. Amen. Numbers 33. Bamidbar 33, Numbers 33, Numbers 33, versículo 3. Numbers. Number, it's a reference. Numbers 33, verse 3. I thought more people would know, but I want them to know. You might want to underline this in your Bible. Quizá quieran señalar esto en sus Biblias. So if somebody asks you when we left Egypt. Si alguien te pregunta cuándo salimos de Egipto. Like you know, some people come here and they think we left uh, Egypt in the middle of the night. Hay gente que piensa que salimos de Egipto en medio de la noche. You'll know Numbers 33, verse 3. Tú debes saber Números 20, eh, 33, verso 3. They began their journey from Ramesses in the first month, on the first uh, on the first month on the 15th day of the first month, the morning after the Pesach, the people of Israel left. Proudly in view of all the Egyptians. Amen? How do you leave proudly in view of everybody? ¿Cómo sales orgullosamente a la vista Did they de have todos? street lights back then? ¿Tenían uh, lu uh, luces en, uh, en la calle? Did, what, they turn on the, the, the chariot headlights? ¿O prendieron las luces de los, uh, de los carros? Was it a full moon or something? ¿O era luna llena? Yes, it was a full moon. Sí, fue luna llena. Okay. But it was, it said, in the morning. Pero dice en la mañana. Okay, the morning after Pesach. La mañana después de la Pascua. The morning after, so we left in the morning. La mañana porque salimos en la mañana. Now go back to John 13. Vámonos a Juan 13 de vuelta. Verse 30. Verso 30. John, Yochanan 13, verse 30. Juan 13, verso 30. As soon as he had taken the piece of matzah, Yehuda went out, and it was night. Amen. Yehuda took the bitterness Yehuda tomó la amargura and walked into the darkness away from the Lord. Y caminó a la oscuridad lejos del Señor. Many people walk away from God. Mucha gente se aleja del Señor. And they walk into the darkness. Y se alejan de la de, se van a la oscuridad. No matter what happens in this world everybody. No importa lo que pase en este mundo. Never walk into the darkness. Nunca caminen en la oscuridad. Don't let Satan take you. No dejen que Satanás los tome. Or don't give yourself to Satan. O no le des tu persona a Satanás. Yehuda took the matzah. Yehuda tomó la matzah. What's so important about the matzah? ¿Qué es tan importante de la matzah? Doesn't say he ate it. No dice que lo comió. He took it. Él dice que lo tomó. He took the bread of affliction. Él tomó el pan de aflicción. Into the darkness. En la oscuridad. Why did he not eat it? ¿Por qué es que él no lo comió? Why did he not eat this bitter? It doesn't say he ate the bitterness. ¿Por qué no dice aquí no dice aquí que comió la amargura? He's holding it. Él lo está teniendo. He's holding it as he leaves. Él lo está teniendo mientras se va. You always have time to go back. Siempre tienes tiempo para regresar. No matter what you do. No importa lo que hagas. But you could die. Pero podrías morir. In that process. En ese proceso. Yeshua was leaving the door open. Yeshua estaba dejando la puerta abierta. He didn't force him out. Él no lo forzó he a said, salir. do what you got to do. Le dijo, haz lo que tengas que hacer. But we're the ones that walk into the darkness. Pero nosotros somos los que caminamos en la oscuridad. He wanted blessings. Él quería bendiciones. He walked for three and a half years. Caminó por tres años y medio. With Messiah. Con el Mesías. 
With all those blessings. Con todas esas bendiciones. He walked with the word of God for él, all that time. Él caminó con la palabra de Dios por todo ese tiempo. But when you walk into darkness, you leave your blessings behind. Pero cuando tú caminas en la oscuridad, tú dejas las bendiciones detrás. Let me say that again. Déjame decirlo otra vez. When you walk into the night, cuando caminas en la noche, and you leave the word of God sitting at the table, y dejas la palabra de Dios sentado en la mesa, you leave your blessings behind. Tú dejas tus bendiciones atrás. But one of the other things that's even more sad, pero una de las cosas que incluso es más triste, nobody went after him. Nadie fue detrás de él. Nobody went after him. Nadie fue detrás de él. Do you go after the lost sheep? Vas tú detrás de las ovejas perdidas. Do you go after the lost sheep? Vas tú detrás de las ovejas perdidas. Tristan witnessed to two Muslims this week. Tristan, or one. Tristan uh, testificó a unos musulmanes esta semana. Two dos black a uno. Muslims. Dos musulmanes negros. That's my boy. Ese es mi hijo. Do you see the Muslim? Ves al musulmán. Do you go after them? Vas detrás de ellos. Or are you afraid? O tienes miedo. They might say something. Quizá me dirán algo. Good, maybe they'll call the news. Quizá llamarán a las noticias. Are you afraid to speak up at work? Tienes tu miedo de hablar en el trabajo. No, you're going into sin. Tú te vas en, tú Why estás is that en so enjoyable to you? ¿Por qué no disfrutas? You let the sin You let the person walking in sin out of your life. Dejaste a la, a la persona uh, y caminar de la vida. Yochanan knew lejos. the truth. Yochanan sabía la verdad. Look at verse 34 and 35. Vamos a los versos 34 y 35. I'm giving you a new command that you keep loving each other in the same way that I have loved you. You're also to keep on loving each other. Everyone will know that you are my Talmudin by, in fa by the fact that you have love for each other. Amen? Amen? What is this giving this new command thing? ¿Qué es dar este nuevo mandamiento? What is this love each other the way I loved you? ¿Qué es esto amar a, 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 a amarse mutuamente como los he amado? Why did Yeshua say this? ¿Por qué Yeshua dijo esto? What, what do you think it means? ¿Qué crees que significa? What do you think it means? ¿Qué crees que significa? Think about that for a second, Juan. Piensa esto por un momento. The way I loved you. La manera que yo te amo. What do you think it means, Ruthie? ¿Qué crees que significa? What do you think it means? ¿Qué crees que significa? What do you think it means? ¿Qué crees que significa? Yeshua was about to sacrifice his own life. Yeshua está a punto de sacrificar su propia vida. For the sake of all. Por el bien de todos. Do you sacrifice your life? Sacrificas tú tu vida. For your children. Por tus hijos. Do you sacrifice your life? Sacrificas tu tu vida. For God's purposes. Por los propósitos de Dios. Hold your place there. Mantengan su lugar allí. Turn to Yochanan 15, John 15. Y vámonos a Juan 15. John 15. Juan 15. Verse 13 and 14. Versos 13 y 14. John 15. Juan 15. Verse 13 and 14. Versos 13 y 14. When you got it, say amen. Amen. When you got it, say amen. Amen. All right. No one has greater love that, than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Amen. Yeshua was going to lay down his life for his friends. Yeshua iba a poner su vida por sus amigos. What does this mean? ¿Qué significa esto? What does this mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Should we go and live lives? Deberíamos ir y vivir la vida. Contradictory? Contradictorias? To everything that Yeshua did? A todo lo que Yeshua dijo. Look hizo. at the church. Miren a la iglesia. They're living life contradictory to everything that Yeshua did. Ellos están viviendo la vida contradictoria a lo que Yeshua hizo. They worship on Sunday. Ellos adoran el domingo. They don't do any of the biblical holy days. No celebran ninguno de los días santos bíblicos. They do Santa Cena. Hacen la cena. Once a month we do Santa Cena. Una vez al mes es que comemos la Santa Cena. De calamare. Comen calamar. Con chile. Con con chile. Squid. Pulpo. Should we say? Podríamos decir. We no longer need to circumcise our boys. No necesitamos circuncidar a nuestros hijos. That's what the church does. 
Eso es lo que la iglesia hace. The church says we no longer need to circumcise, we just have to circumcise hearts. La iglesia dice que no necesitan la circuncisión, sino circuncidar los corazones nada más. Should we say that we could keep sinning because we live under grace? Deberíamos decir que podemos seguir pecando porque vivimos bajo la gracia. What does this passage mean? ¿Qué significa este pasaje? Look at verse 13. Vamos al verso 13. No one has greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. Amen? Amen. Sacrifice means this. El sacrificio significa esto. Sacrificing your life Sacrificar tu vida for the life of your children. Por la vida de tus hijos. Example. Ejemplo. If you have a child si tienes un hijo and you're a follower of Messiah, y eres un seguidor del Mesías. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973 973- 338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA Shalom yes. Listen up closely Escucha Because Yeshua says you, you should sacrifice your life Porque Yeshua dice debes sacrificar tu vida Listen closely Escucha atentamente If you say you're a follower of Messiah Si tú dices que eres un seguidor del Mesías And you let your children go to public school Y dejas a tu hijo que vaya a escuela pública For any reason Por cualquier 
Any reason at all. Cualquier razón que sea. I want you to hear what is being taught in the schools now. Quiero que escuches lo que se dice en las escuelas ahora. This is the new Common Core curriculum that is coming out this year. Este es el nuevo currículo común que va a salir este año. In every single course from kindergarten to high school. En cada curso desde la jardín de infantes hasta la escuela secundaria. Listen up, parents. Escuchen padres. Listen up. Because God said, "Sacrifice your life." Porque Dios dice, "Sacrifica tu vida." Sacrifice your life. Sacrifica tu vida. God gave you the gift of children. Dios te dio el regalo de hijos. In every single class, in every single subject. En cada clase y en cada materia. Sexual education will be taught to children starting this year. Se va a enseñar educación sexual comenzando el año. Every single subject en cada materia if you are allowing your children to go to public school si tú estás permitiendo que tu hijo vaya a escuela pública you are giving your child over to Moloch tú estás entregando a tu hijo a Moloch and that is the devil y ese es el diablo just understand solo entiende that God will hold you accountable que Dios te mantendrá responsable if you allow your child into public school si tú permites que tu hijo esté en esa escuela pública you are no friend of God tú no eres amigo de Dios and you are no friend to your child y tú no eres amigo de tu hijo for you have handed your child over to Moloch porque has entregado a tu hijo a Moloch look at verse 13 and 14 vamos a los versos 13 y 14 no one has Greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Amen? Amen. You say it can't be done. Tú piensas que no se puede hacer. My wife, Rebitson Kelly, Mi esposa, Rebitson Kelly was a very, is a very smart woman. Es una mujer muy inteligente. She was graduated number five in her high school class. Ella se graduó en el quinto puesto en la clase de secundaria. She went to college. Ella fue a la universidad. She obtained a bachelor of science in nursing. Ella obtuvo un título en ciencia de, de cuidado. She passed the nursing boards. Ella tuvo su licencia de, de enfermería. She loved spinal cord nursing. Ella le encanta eh, enfermería de espina dorsal. She worked her way up the ladder. Ella siguió adelante. To assistant. Y se convirtió en asistente. To the head nurse. Y después la cabeza de las enfermeras. She even opened up a new spinal cord unit. E incluso abrió una nueva unión de espina dorsal. Got the number one ranking in all of the United States. Que tuvo calificación número uno en todo Estados Unidos. Number one. Número uno. She was then moved up in the next position to en, director of nursing. Entonces ella se le movieron a la a la posición de directora de enfermería. Let's just say we had enough money. Digamos que teníamos mucho dinero. When our children. Pero cuando nuestros hijos. Children, did that go off? When our children. Cuando nuestros hijos. Were old enough. Está ya eran más grandecitos. Because the Common Core wasn't in. In the elementary school. Porque el, el, uh, um, la enseñanza común no estaba en la escuela elemental. It was in middle school. Comenzó en la escuela media. First day Connor went to school, middle el, school. El primer día que Connor fue a la escuela media. They showed in health class. Mostraron una clase de salud. Full frontal nudity. Una desnudez frontal. Of a woman giving birth. De una mujer dando a luz. That was the last day. Connor was in public school. Ese fue el último día que Connor fue a la escuela pública. What did we give up? ¿Qué es lo que dejamos? Were we teachers? Eh, fuimos maestros. Not of public, not of schooling. No de escuela. But we learned. Pero aprendimos. If you're giving your children si tú estás dando a tus hijos over to the public school system. Si estás entregando a tus hijos a la escuela pública. You are not following this commandment by God. Tú no estás siguiendo este mandamiento dado por Dios. Yeshua sacrificed his life. Yeshua sacrificó su vida. We need to sacrifice ours. Nosotros necesitamos sacrificar la Wives, nuestra. Wives, you need Esposas. to be teachers of your children. Necesitan ser maestras de sus hijos. You need to be teachers of your children. Necesitas enseñar a tus hijos. And we need to help others. Y necesitamos ayudar a otros. We're now only finding God. 
pero que están solamente sabiendo de maybe have made mistakes in the past. Y quizá cometieron errores en el pasado. In a single parent home. En una casa de de un padre. We need to take our children back. Necesitamos tomar a nuestros hijos de vuelta. We need to take them back from the devil. Necesitamos sacarlos del de, de quitarlos de las manos del demonio. We need to sacrifice our own lives. Necesitamos sacrificar nuestras propias vidas. For God's greater good. Porque Dios es grande y bueno. But I can't do it. Pero no puedo hacerlo. I can't teach. No puedo enseñar. We'll show you how. Te mostraremos cómo. We'll show you how. Te mostraremos cómo. Nobody showed us. Nadie nos mostró a nosotros. But we'll be more than happy to show you. Pero vamos a estar uh, encantados de enseñarte. Look at verse 13 and 14. Versos 3 y 14. No one has greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Amen. That's a hard thing to understand now, isn't it? Es algo muy difícil de entender. Welcome to Beth Goyen. Bienvenidos a Beth Goyen. We don't sugarcoat things here. Aquí nosotros no cubrimos las cosas There's con no azúcar. There's no time for that. No hay tiempo para eso. If we want to win this war, si queremos ganar esta guerra, you have to sacrifice your lives. Tienes que sacrificar tu vida. For God's greater good. Porque la, la, Dios es bueno y grande. Yeshua, said, You're a friend of mine. Yeshua dice, tú eres mi amigo. If you do what I command you to do. Si haces lo que te mando hacer. But if you don't. Pero si no lo haces. And what does God say in Deuteronomy 6, verse 7? ¿Y qué Dios dice en Deuteronomio 6, verse 7? What does it say in Deuteronomy 6, verse 7? Deuteronomio 6, verse 7. You're to teach things at these at your home when you Lie down and when you get up. Enseñarás esto en tu casa cuando te recuestas y cuando te levantas. You're to teach your children. Tú enseñarás a tus hijos. All the things of God. Todas las cosas de Dios. Let's go back to John 13, please. Vamos a Juan 13. John 13. Juan 13. Don't worry, we'll go back to the other John scripture and later. Woo! Welcome to Beth Goyen. You now know the truth. Let the truth set you free. Ahora sabes la verdad y que la verdad te hará libre. John 13, verse 34 and 35. Juan 13, versos 34 y 35. I am giving you a new command that you keep loving each other in the same way that I have loved you. You are to keep, keep on loving each other. Everyone will know that you are my Talmud by the fact that you have loved for each other. Amen? Amen. Sacrifice. Sacrificio. Rebetzin Kelly sacrificed her nursing career for Connor and Tristan. Rebetzin uh, Kelly uh, sacrificó su carrera de enfermería por sus hijos, Tristan y Connor. Good job. Buen trabajo. Great pay. Buen pago. Accolades. Oh, director of nursing. Aclamada como directora de enfermería. I am the boss. Yo soy la You'll jefe. do what I say. Yeah. No. Tú haces lo que yo digo. She sacrificed. Ella sacrificó. Yeshua sacrificed his life for us. Yeshua sacrificó su vida por nosotros. Do you live for him? Vives tú para él. Do you live for him? Vives tú para él. Do you help one another? Ayudan, se ayudan el uno con el otro. Look at verse 36 to 38. Veamos a los versos 36 al 38. Shimon Kepha said to him, Lord, where are you going? Yeshua answered, where I'm going, you can't follow me now, but you will follow later. You, Lord, Kepha said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Yeshua answered, you will lay down your life for me? Yes, indeed. I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Amen? Amen. He knew his heart. Él sabía su corazón. Kepha says, I want to come. Sab Kepha dijo que quería ir. Yeshua says you're going to fail me. Yeshua le dijo que le va a fallar. But after the resurrection, you'll know. Pero después de la resurrección, tú sabrás. We should know the truth now. Deberíamos saber la verdad hoy. We should be walking in the blessings now in the power of God. Deberíamos caminar en las bendiciones y en el poder de Dios. Look at verse 37. Verso 37. Lord, Kepha said to him, Why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Amen. Amen. Many times people speak, Muchas veces la gente habla, but they don't understand the words that they're saying. Pero no entienden las palabras que están diciendo. They don't understand your own self. 
no entienden ellos mismos no se entienden. Kev was like, I'll do it. Kefa dijo, lo haré. I'll be there for you. Estaré ahí para ti. Not a few minutes later, what happened? Unos minutos después, ¿qué pasó? A couple hours later, I thought you'd be there for me, Kefa. Unas horas después, ¿qué pasó? I thought you'd be there for me. Yo pensé que ibas a estar para mí. Homie, man, what, what up? What, what were you, man? ¿Dónde estuviste, Pedro? Yo, 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 Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, where you be? ¿Dónde estuviste? That's why now no hope for you. Yo! <laughs> Joshua, what do you go be there with me, man? We we could have to fight. You let me hang in. Yo pensé que ibas a pelear por mí porque sabes pelear. Me dejaste colgando. Kefa, Kefa said, you know, I'll lay down my life, but he didn't know what he was saying. Kefa dijo, yo voy a dar mi vida por ti, pero no sabía lo que decía. Kefa was willing to say the words. Kefa estaba dispuesto, podía decir las palabras. But when action, Joshua. Pero cuando la acción vino. When action needed to happen. Cuando vino la acción. Fell on the ground. Cayó en el piso. Talk is cheap, everybody. El hablar es barato. Actions speak louder. La, las acciones hablan más fuerte. God wants action. Dios quiere acción. He doesn't want to hear your mouth running. Él no quiere escuchar tu boca solo hablando. You ever hear those people pray? They could pray for hours. Han escuchado a la gente que puede orar por horas. Oh, that person's got such powerful prayers, powerful prayers, powerful prayers. Tiene una oración poderosa, muy poderosa. You look at her life; it's a mess, mess, mess. Y tienes una vida que es una desgracia, desgracia. Oh, but I love to hear her pray. Pero me gusta escucharla orando. Kefa was talking. Kefa hablaba. But he wasn't walking the walk. Pero no estaba haciendo el camino. He was not willing to make a true sacrifice. No estaba dispuesto a hacer un sacrificio verdadero. Not yet. No aún. He did eventually. Él lo hizo eventualmente. In the secular writings. En las escrituras seculares. About Peter's life. Acerca de la so vida de Pedro. So take it with a little, you know, salt. It's not gospel. Eh, es un poco de evangelio. Kepha, no es el evangelio. Kepha's wife was crucified first. La esposa de Kepha fue crucificada primero. And then Kepha said, "I'm not good enough." To be crucified like my Lord. Y Kefa dijo, yo no soy merecedor de ser crucificado como mi Señor. He was crucified upside down. Él fue crucificado boca abajo. The massive amount of pain he must have been in. El amonto masivo de dolor. Anybody ever hang upside down for like two minutes? You're like, oh man. Like your head's going to explode. Sientes como que tu cabeza va a explotar. But he finally made the true sacrifice. Pero finalmente él hizo el sacrificio verdadero. Verse 37 and 38, everybody. Versos 37 y 38. Lord, Kepha said to him, Why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Yeshua answered, You will lay down your life for me? Yes, indeed, I tell you, before you, the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Amen? Amen. Yeshua knew his heart. Yeshua su But you see in verse 38, Pero si ves en el verso 38 it's a, there's a question mark there. Hay una pregunta. You're going to lay your life down for me? Tu vida por mí? He says you're going to disown me. Dice que me va a a lot of people are not willing to follow the new commands yet. Mucha gente no está dispuesta a seguir los nuevos mandatos. You know, very good, I used to have a very good friend. Yo solía tener un buen amigo. He's a messianic music artist. Es un artista mesiánico. And I love this brother dearly. Y amaba este hermano con mucho but con mi corazón. He says you're trying to put people under the law. Pero está diciendo, dijo, está tratando de poner a la gente bajo la ley. Absolutely. Absolutamente. 100% sí. Yes. Because the law is good. Porque la ley es buena. It's what draws me to God. Es lo que me acerca a Dios. Are you ready for his commands? Estás listo para su mandato. Are you ready for his commands? Estás listo para sus mandamientos. For if you want to sit at the table porque with si, Messiah, porque si te quieres sentar en la mesa con el Mesías, then Margarita, you have to follow the commands. Entonces tienes que seguir los mandamientos. David, if you want to sit at the table with the Mashiach, si tú quieres sentarte en la mesa con el Mesías, then you have to lay down your life for your children. Entonces vas a tener que poner tu vida por tus hijos. Five. Cinco. Five. Maybe six or seven. Cinco, quizás seis Maybe o siete. Maybe Diaz. Quizás Diaz. Maybe. Quizá. If God wants to bless you. Si Dios te quiere bendecir. But are you willing? Pero estás tú dispuesto. To leave them in the public school. A dejarlos en la escuela pública. And give them over to the devil. Y entregarlos al, al demonio. Are you willing? 
¿O estás dispuesto? The new command Yeshua gave to us. El nuevo mandato que Yeshua nos da. Sacrifice your lives. Sacrificar tu vida. And you want a blessing from the word? Que es una bendición de la palabra. But Yochanan wasn't willing. Pero Yochanan no estaba dispuesto. His cousin Yehuda was about to eat the food. Su primo Yehuda estuvo a punto de comer la comida. Don't take it, don't take it. He just sat there. No la tomes, no la tomes. Y él se sentó allí. Throw it. Quítala. Don't touch it, man. Don't. No lo toques. Don't. No lo hagas. Don't. No. No. Don't even touch it. Ni lo toques. Now there's a verse that I left out. Una parte now. que dejé hasta ahora. It's a key verse. Es el verso clave. To this whole understanding. A todo este entendimiento. Go back to verse 33. Vámonos al verso 33. Anybody getting anything so far? Están entendiendo algo. You getting something there, Felix? It's the word. Es la palabra. Sorry. Verse 33. Verso 33. Little children, I will be with you only for a little while longer. You will look for me, and, as I said to the Dedeans, where I'm going, you can't come. Now I say it to you as well. Amen. How many times did Yeshua use the phrase "little children"? ¿Cuántas veces Yeshua utilizó la frase hijitos? For his Talmudim. Para sus Talmudim. How many times did he call them children? ¿Cuántas veces él les llamó hijos? Now imagine you're sitting at the table, Gabe. Imagínate que estás sentado en la mesa. What's calling me a kid for? ¿Por qué me llaman hijo? Dude, I'm like older than you. Yo soy mayor que tú. Unlike you know, I got more gray. Tengo más uh, gris en mi Yeshua, pelo. Yeshua, you're just a kid. Yeshua, tú eres un niño. What are you calling me a kid for? ¿Por qué me llamas niño a mí? Cuz, yo cuz. ¿Por qué? You imagine him calling cu him cuz. Imagínate <laughs> que dice. Yo cuz, yo 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 cuz. You know, you're all, I'm older than you. Porque yo soy mayor que tú. But it's a very important key word. Pero es una palabra importante. Clave. I'm going to read it in the, the Greek definitions. Lo voy a leer en la definición griega. And then Veronica is going to do it in the Spanish. Y después lo haremos en el español. The, the Greek word is technion. It means one little child. Two, used as a term of kindness addressing by teachers to the disciples. Number three, darlings, little children. Ok, la, la um, definición uno, un niño pequeño, dos en el Nuevo Testamento se utiliza como término de amabilidad de parte de los maestros al hablar a los discípulos. Tres, queridos. Ok, now that we know this key word, ahora que sabemos esta palabra clave, there's a key Torah requirements hay una clave de requerimiento de Torah that he was doing with this word little children que estaba diciendo con esta palabra hijitos turn to the gospel of luke now vámonos al evangelio de lucas luke chapter 22 lucas capítulo 22 we needed to know that little children necesitábamos saber eso de los niños pequeños to hijitos, understand something later para entender algo después luke 22 lucas 22 verse 11 through 20 versos 11 al 20 you learning something here today everybody ¿Están aprendiendo algo hoy aquí You learn something there, Oscarino? Ariel, you learning something? Juan, you learning something? Yep. Luke 22, verse 11 through 20. Lucas 22, verses 11 through 20. I'm never going back there again. Psh, I'm getting smacked around here. <laughs> Luke chapter 22, verse 11 through 20. And say to its owner, the rabbi says to you, where is the guest room? Where I'm to eat the Pesach meal with my Talmudin. He will show you a large room upstairs already furnished. Make the preparations there. They went and found things just as Yeshua had told them they would be, and they prepared for the Seder. When the time came, Yeshua and the emissaries reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have really wanted so much to celebrate this Seder with you before I die. For I tell you, it is certain that I will not celebrate it again until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Then taking a cup of wine, he made the bracha, bracha tadonai Elohim el kalam, borei, pari hagafen. Everybody said amen. amen. And he said, take this and share it among yourselves. 
For I tell you that it is from now on I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Also taking a piece of matzah, he made a bracha. Brachatat anai Eloheinu melechalam. Hamotzi lechem in our hearts. And everybody said, Amen. He broke it and gave it to them and said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. And he did the same with the cup after the meal, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant, ratified by my blood, which is being poured out for you. Amen? Amen. Now we look at the, the Gospel of Yochanan for one part of the Pesach. Ahora miramos el Evangelio de, de Yochanan por una parte de la Pascua. But now we need to look at the Luke Gospel to get some other interesting information about the diamond. Pero ahora necesitamos mirar el Evangelio de Lucas para mirar otro lado del diamante. See, each Gospel has its focus Cada Evangelio tiene su enfoque and its understanding. y su entendimiento. So you need to read the other Gospels to sometimes get a bigger picture about what happened. Entonces tienes que leer los otros evangelios para obtener un, un cuadro más grande de lo que pasó. Look at verse 13 through 15 now. Let's break Versos it down. Versos 13 al 15 y dividamos ahora. Okay. They went and found things just as Yeshua told them they would be and they prepared for the Seder. When the time came, Yeshua and the emissaries reclined at the table and he said to them, I really wanted so much to celebrate the Seder with you before I die. Amen? Amen. How does one prepare for a Seder? Como uno se prepara para el ceder. See, this is what the church doesn't understand because esto, they don't do it. Esto es lo que la iglesia no entiende porque no lo hace. But we're supposed to be Christians, right? That's Pero what some people call themselves, se Christians. Se supone que deberíamos ser cristianos, así es como se llama alguna gente cristiana. What does the word Christian mean? ¿Qué significa la palabra cristiano? No, it actually means Christ-like. Significa como Cristo. So you're supposed to be Christ-like. Se supone que debe ser como so Cristo. So if Yeshua is preparing a seder, why aren't you? Entonces si Yeshua se está preparando para el ceder, ¿por qué no tú? You might say you're a Pentecostal, but you're a Catholic in another disguise. Pero puedes decir que eres Pentecostés, pero eres católico en otro disfraz. How does one prepare the Seder? ¿Cómo uno prepara el Seder? Well, one, you need a lamb. Uno, tú necesitas el cordero. You need the lamb, right? Mm, necesitas good. Necesitas el cordero. Okay? You need matzah. Necesitas matzah. You know, you, you can't like go out and buy it that and that night because mm. it's all gone. No puedes salir a comprar esa noche porque ya no hay. Okay? What else do you need? ¿Qué más necesita? You need the bitter herbs. Necesita las hierbas amargas. So you better go get it from the marketplace. Es mejor que lo compres de un uh, mercado. Or know where to dig it up. O saber dónde desenterrarlo. And you, you get a fresh one? Si sí, tienes oh, un fresco. Oh, that stuff can be really, really, really good tasting. Eso puede saber muy bien. If you like your hair on fire. Si te gusta tu cabello en Now, fuego. how else do you prepare for the Seder? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo más te preparas para el Seder? How else do you prepare for the Seder? ¿Cómo más preparas para el Seder? What can't be found in your house once it gets dark? ¿Qué no puede ser encontrado en tu casa una vez que ha caído la noche? Leavening. Levadura. Leavening. Levadura. So you got to make sure that place is leaven free. Tenemos que asegurarnos que la casa está libre de levadura. And other parts of the Seder? Y otras partes del ceder. Because you see Yeshua drinking wine. Porque ves a Yeshua que That's part of it, but it's not commanded. Es parte, pero no es mandado. Part, but not commanded. Es parte, pero no es mandado. Let's look at verse 17 and 18 now. Versos 16 y 18. Come and help me with 17 and 18. I hope Thank you. You. you do the English, I'll do the Spanish now. All okay, right. it'll talk about. 17 and 18, 17 and 18. Then taking a cup of wine, he made, he, he made the bracha and said, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Amen? Until what comes? Hasta que venga que. Until the kingdom of God. Hasta que el reino de Dios. That means we're going to be doing this in heaven? Significa que vamos a estar haciendo esto en el cielo. Evidently. Evidentemente, sí. That means still doing it, children. ¿En significa que harán los niños? We're going to be doing the Seder on the proper day. Lo estare, estaremos celebrando el Seder en el día apropiado. There are not seven days no hay siete días of Passover, as the Pascua, Jews might tell you. Como los judíos quizá te dirán. They were doing the seven days of Passover. Estaban celebrando los siete you know, días I've heard, de I've heard you know, Talmud Jew, Jews say that. He escuchado uh, judíos talmúdicos que dicen like, eso. Like my mother used to say to me, 
Mi madre me decía a mí. Are you doing the you Passover with the congregation again? Vas a celebrar la Pascua con la congregación yes, otra mom, vez. Yes, mom, I'm doing the Passover with the congregation. Sí, mamá, voy a celebrar la Pascua con la congregación. So you're going to come to my house for second night of Passover? Vas a venir a la segunda noche de Pascua. Ma. Mamá. There's no second night of Passover. No hay segunda noche de Pascua. Oh yes, there is. Oh no, sí la hay. Ma, pick up the Bible. Oh, that's silly. Oh, ma mamá, toma la Biblia, eso es tonto. I'll be at your house after Hag Matzah. When's that? Voy a estar en tu casa después de Hag Matzah. ¿Cuándo es eso? See, when you do things that God doesn't want you to do. Cuando haces cosas que Dios no quiere que haga. You eat of the bitterness of Satan. Tú comes de la amargura de Satanás. 17 through 19 now. 17 al 19. Then taking a cup of wine, he made a bracha and said, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Also taking the piece of matzah, he made a bracha, broke it and gave it to them and said, This is my body which is being given for you. Do this in memory of me. Amen. Do what in memory of him? Hacer que en memoria de él. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, drink wine in memory of the Lord now? Beber vino en nombre del Señor. It's okay. It's kosher. Es también porque es kosher. It's manischewitz. It's manischewitz. Is that what we're supposed to do now? Es eso lo que se supone debemos hacer. We're supposed to have unleavened bread now? Se supone que debemos tener pan sin pan sin levadura. How many Gentile children were seated at the Pesach table? ¿Cuántos niños gentiles estaban sentados en la mesa de pan? How many Gentiles were seated at that table? ¿Cuántos gentiles estaban sentados 45, en la mesa? Right? No, come on, man. 45. The Romans were there. The Catholics were there. Los romanos, los católicos estaban allí. The Pentecostals were there. Los pentecostés estaban allí. Right? ¿verdad? Right, Darwin? No. Not even the Baptists. Ni los Bautistas. They're nice people. Ellos son una gente. The Baptists are nice. Gente cordial. They're, they're not, not, no, no. No. Julia, help me out here, Julia. Not even the Baptists. Ni los Bautistas. Three. Zero. Oh, 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 zero. Zero. Then why say this? Entonces, ¿por qué decir esto? All of us. Todos nosotros. If we're following Messiah. Si estamos siguiendo al Mesías. If you don't want to eat of the bitterness of the world. Si no quieres comer de la amargura del mundo. If you don't want to eat of the bitterness of the world. Si no quieres comer de la amargura del mundo. All of us. Todos nosotros. Are invited to this table. Están invitados en esta mesa. Look at verse 20. Verso 20. He did the same with the cup after the meal, saying, This cup is the new covenant ratified by my blood, which is being poured out for you. Amen? Amen. See, this is where the Christians always get stuck. Aquí es donde los cristianos se, se atascan. They go, See, Jesus is making a new covenant, Ruth. Y la gente dice, mira, aquí Jesús está haciendo un right, nuevo right. pacto. This is what you heard, right? It's a new covenant, right? Eso es lo que escuchaste right, tú. Right, Luz? Right? Uh, you heard that. I'm sure you heard it. Yo lo escuchaste. You heard it, right? Yo you you believed it. Did she hear it? Did, was that the only place? Yeah, I'm telling you. Margarita, did you ever hear this? ¿Escuchaste eso alguna vez? Ruth, did you ever hear this? It's a new covenant. Que es un nuevo pacto. It's a new car. Es un nuevo carro. All right, hold your place there. Mantengan su lugar allí. Turn to Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9. Y vamos a Eclesiastes 1, verso 9. Ecclesiastes, cojolet. Cojolet, 1. Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9, Brittany. Ecclesiastes 1, verso 9. Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9. We're going to look at verse 9 and 10. Vamos a ver a los versos 9 y 10. Everybody got it? No, I see pages being turned yet. Ecclesiastes. Got it? Got it light? Go to Proverbs and make a right. <laughs> Proverbs and make a right. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Ecclesiastes capítulo 1. Verse 9 and 10. 
versos 9 y 10. Ecclesiastes, Koholet. Koholet. Chapter 1. Capítulo 1. Verse 9 and 10. Versos 9 y 10. It says, what has been is what will be, what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. Is there something of which is, it is said, see, this is new. It existed already in the ages before us. Amen? Amen. There is nothing new under the sun. No hay nada nuevo bajo el, bajo el sol. So when Yeshua said that this is a new covenant, cuando Yeshua dice este es un nuevo pacto, does this contradict Ecclesiastes? ¿Contradice esto a Ecclesiastes? No. To a Jew, it's a renewing. Para un judío, eso es una renovación. Because when the moon goes around, Ruthie, right? Porque cuando la luna va alrededor. The moon starts out the little banana, right? La luna comienza como una banana pequeña. And pequeñita. then it gets the full, right? Y después se hace llena. And then it goes the little again, right? Y después se hace pequeñita. And then it disappears, right? Y se desaparece. Does God then take that moon out and say, I'm done with that and throw it away? ¿Será que Dios quita esa luna y dice, terminado con esa? No, right? Luz is saying no. Dice, no. no, God doesn't do that. No. Dios no hace eso. No. So why does he call it a new moon? ¿Por qué entonces le llama nueva luna? Because the new moon cycle gets renewed. Porque el nuevo ciclo lunar es renovado. So when Yeshua said, go back to Luke 22. Cuando Yeshua dice, ve de, go back to Luke 22. Ve de vuelta a Lucas 22. Luke 22, verse 20 again. Lucas 22, verso 20. I told you to hold your place, didn't I? <laughs> Luke 22, 22, verse 20, verso 20. He did the same with the cup after the meal, saying, This cup is a new covenant ratified by my blood, which is being poured out for you. Amen. Amen. Yeshua is saying to his children, Yeshua está diciendo a sus hijos, This blood is covering the sin of the world. Esta sangre está cubriendo la sangre del mundo, el, el pecado del mundo. What existed age before the Hellenistic children came to understand. I'm sorry. I knew you'd mess that one up. What existed ages before. Lo que existía edades antes. These Hellenistic children. De estos hijos helenísticos. What they forgot. Que se olvidaron. They're forgetting what they're supposed to do. Se olvidaron lo que debían hacer. This is a new covenant. Now you're going to do it in memory of me. Este es un nuevo pacto. Ahora lo harás en memoria mía. But many times we forget things. Pero muchas veces olvidamos cosas. Many times we forget things. Muchas veces olvidamos cosas. Why did he say children? ¿Por qué decimos hijos? Go back to now Exodus 13. You don't have to hold your place anymore. Vamos de vuelta a Éxodos 13. No Exodus 13. 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 Shemot 13. Exodus 13, Verse 1 through 10. versos 1 al 10. Exodus 13, Exodus 13, verse 1 through 10. versos 1 al 10. Jehovah said to Moisha, Set aside for me all the firstborn, whatever is first from the womb, among the people of Israel, both humans and of animals, belong to me. Moisha said to the people, Remember this day, on which you left Egypt, the abode of slavery, because Jehovah, by the strength of his hand, has brought you out of this place. Do not eat chametz. You are leaving today in the month of Aviv. When Jehovah brings you into the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Hibbe, and Yavusi, which he swore to your ancestors to give to you, a land flowing with chalab and devash, milk and honey, you are to observe this ceremony in this month. For seven days you are to eat matzah. In the seventh day it is to be a festival for Jehovah. Matzah is to be eaten throughout, throughout the seven days. Neither chametz nor leavening agents are to be seen with you throughout your territory. On that day, you are to tell your son, it is because of what Jehovah did for me when I left Egypt. Moreover, it will serve you as a sign on your hand and a reminder between your eyes so that you, the Jehovah's Torah may be on your lips because with a strong hand, Jehovah brought you out of Egypt. Therefore, you are to observe this regulation at its proper time, year after year. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 
8, please. Verso 8. You might want to underline it because this is the key of why, why Yeshua called us children. Y quizá lo quieran señalar y esta es la razón por qué Yeshua los llamó hijos. How many, wait, one question I have to ask. Tengo una pregunta. How many women disciples did Yeshua call? ¿Cuántas mujeres discípulos tenía Yeshua? Come on, Mary. Mary? María. No? Mary Magdalene, no? Mary Magdalene. She just tagged along. Ella también seguía. Hmm. How many, how many disciples? No? No women disciples? No habían discípulos mujeres. He was a male chauvinist, right? Él es un machista. Now, the reason is. La razón es. Look at verse 8. Verso 8. On that day you are to tell your son. It is because of what Jehovah did for me when I left Egypt. Amen? This is why he called us children. Por eso es que nos llama hijos. In the gospel. Hijitos he, en el evangelio. He needs to call us children so he is our father. Él necesita llamarnos hijitos porque es nuestro padre. And when did he do it? Y cuando lo hizo. At the Passover. En la Pascua. Because we forget things. Porque nos olvidamos las cosas. He tells it to who? Él lo dice a quién? Tell it to your children. Díselo a tus hijos. Your sons specifically. A tus hijos especialmente. Why? ¿Por qué? So they won't forget Así. what God did. Así no se olvidarán lo que Dios hizo. One, they won't forget the sacrifice. No se olvidarán el sacrificio. That God gave his life for us. Que Dios dio su vida por nosotros. He gave his life freely for us. Él dio su vida libremente por nosotros. He sacrificed everything. Él sacrificó todo. He was, you know, he seated next to the right hand of the Father. Él está sentado en la mano derecha del Padre. Clarabel, Darwin. He left all that. Él dejó todo eso. He left all that to live amongst us. Él dejó todo eso para vivir entre nosotros. And we eat a bitterness instead of his word. Y nosotros comimos la amargura en lugar de su palabra. Look at verse 3 and 4. Vamos al verso 3 y 4. Moshe said to the people, Remember this day on which you left Egypt, the abode of slavery, because Jehovah, by the strength of his hand, has brought you out of this place. Do not eat chametz. You are leaving today in the month of Aviv. Amen? Remember this day. Recuerda este día. See, when the church does the Santa Cena thing, y cuando la iglesia hace esta cosa de la Santa Cena, once a month they, t they take communion, o una vez al mes toman la comunión, then you're not doing, because they're doing the Passover. That's what they say. It's like the Passover once a month. Ellos dicen, es como la Pascua, una vez al mes. God is saying, remember this day. Él dice, recuerda este not día. Not the days that you make. No los días que tú hagas. Not the, not the days you want to make, but the days he commanded. No los días que tú quieres hacer, pero los días que él ha mandado. And here in the month of Aviv, it's important to understand we're going to do definitions. Y aquí en el mes de Aviv es importante entender. The definitions are fresh, young barley ears, barley. Number two, month of ear forming, of greening, of crops or growing green. Amen. Para la palabra vives, uno, frescos o espigas de cebada tiernas, cebada. Dos, meses de la formación de la espiga, del reverdecimiento de los cultivos, del crecimiento verde. This is how you know when Pesach is. Así es cuando tú sabes cuándo es la Pascua. Because you need a first fruit offering, right? Porque necesitas una ofrenda de primeros so it's frutos. Gotta, it's got to be in the beautiful month of all the things coming back to life. Entonces tiene que ser en el hermoso mes donde todo regresa a la vida. Passover is the month of new beginnings. La Pascua es el mes de nuevos comienzos. The month of things coming back to life. El mes en que las cosas regresan de nuevo a la vida. Look at verse 8. Vamos al verso 8. On that day you are to tell your son it is because of what Jehovah did for me when I left Egypt. Amen? Amen. You got to tell your children. Tienes que decirles a tus hijos. But here in the gospel, right? Pero aquí en el evangelio. They, they don't understand, well, where's Judas going? No entienden, ¿a dónde va Judas? Well, maybe he's going to buy something or give to the poor. Quizá va a comprar algo o darle algo a los pobres. Is that what you do on Passover? ¿Es eso lo que haces en la Pascua? No. Why didn't Yochanan go after Yehuda? ¿Por qué Yochanan no fue detrás de Yehuda? He forgot what Passover was about. Él olvidó de qué se trataba la Pascua. Go get everybody. We're leaving bondage. Vayan a traer a todos. Nos vamos de la esclavitud. Let's go on to section two. Vamos a la sección dos. Get a lot from section one. 
Aprendieron mucho de la sección 1. Aprendieron de la sección 1. Ahora vamos a tomar ese conocimiento. And go to section two, y vamos a ir a la sección 2. Que se titula Odio la comida de Dios. How many hate God's ¿Cuántos odian la comida de Dios? Oh, wait till you hear. Esperen hasta escuchar. Numbers chapter 11, please. Numbers 11. 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 Verse 1 through 10. Versos 1 al 10. Numbers 11. Numbers 11. Verse 1 through 10. Versos 1 al 10. This is a real fascinating passage. Este es un pasaje fascinante. Yeah, at first glance, you don't really know what it's saying. En primera, a primera vista no sabes lo que está diciendo. Don't worry. Pero no te preocupes. I'm going to give you your Hebrew roots. Te voy a dar tus raíces de Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 through 10, you got it? Números 11, versos 1 al 10. But the people began complaining about their hardships to Jehovah. When Jehovah heard it, his anger flared up. So that fire from Jehovah broke out against them and consumed the outskirts of the camp. Then the people cried to Moshe. Moshe prayed to Jehovah and the fire abated. A place was called Tavera, burning, because Jehovah's fire broke out against them. Next, the mixed crowd that was with them grew greedy for an easier life. While the people of Israel, for their part, also renewed their weeping and said, If we only had meat to eat, we remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt. It costs us nothing. And the cucumbers, melon, the leeks, the onions, the garlic, mmm. And now we're withering away and have nothing to look at but this manna. But the manna, by the way, looked like coriander seed and white like, uh, white, like, white like gum resin. The people would go around gathering it and would grind it up in the mills and pound it into paste with mortar and pestle. And they would cook it in pots and make it into loaves that tasted like cakes baked with olive oil. When the dew settled on the camp during the night, the man, maná came up, came with it. Moshe heard the people crying, family after family, each person at the entrance to the tent. The anger of Jehovah flared up violently, and Moshe too was displeased. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 10. Verso 10. Moshe heard the people crying, family after family, each person at the entrance to his tent. The anger of Jehovah flared up violently, And Moshe too was displeased. Amen? Amen. Here, let's take a look at the word crying. Veamos a la palabra llorar. Okay, I'm going to do the definitions in English. Veronica will do it in Spanish. Baca means to weep, bewail, cry, shed tears. Number two, to weep bitterly. Number three, lamenting. Amen? Para la palabra llorar, la definición es para llorar, lamentarse, llorar. Derramar lágrimas, dos, para llorar amargamente, tres, lamentarse. Now, what's so interesting about this word? ¿Qué es interesante de esta palabra? The people were lamenting La gente se estaba lamentando that they wanted to go back to Egypt. que querían regresar a Egipto. They were second guessing leaving bondage. Estaban pensando el de, eh, otra vez el haber dejado la esclavitud. They were thinking that their old way of life Estaban pensando que la manera de vivir anterior era una mejor manera de vivir. In such a short of time, en un periodo tan corto de tiempo, in such a short of time, en un periodo tan corto de tiempo, they had what the whip of felt like on their back. se olvidaron cómo el látigo del faraón se sentía en sus espaldas. In such a short of time, Margarita, en un periodo de tiempo muy corto, They had forgotten what it was to not get paid for working. Se olvidaron que se siente no ser pagado, no, que no le paguen por trabajar. Why did Jehovah get so angry at this event? ¿Por qué Jehovah se enojó en este evento? Why did Jehovah get so angry at his children? ¿Por qué Jehovah se enojó tanto con sus hijos? Why was Moshe displeased also? ¿Por qué Moisés también estaba disgustado? In the word anger, it's a very interesting word. Para la palabra enojo es muy interesante. It is the word off. Esa palabra off. It means nose. Significa nariz. And anger. Y enojo. So God's nostrils flared. So las fosas nasales de Dios se, se, se hincharon. You ever see hincharon. somebody's nostrils flare when they got angry? 
Saben cómo cuando alguien se enoja se hinchan las fosas nasales. You ever see a bull fight? ¿O has visto un toro que pelea? And the está... bull gets angry, you see his... Y el toro se, se está listo para pelear y se hinchan sus fosas nasales. Why did he get so angry? ¿Por qué es que él se enojó? In a short answer, Ivan. Y la pregunta, it's going to be a little interactive right now. La respuesta muy corta. Ivan, Ivan, why do you think God got so angry? ¿Por qué es que Dios se enojó? What do you think? Give me a second to think. Rosa! Rosa, why do you think God got so angry? ¿Por qué crees que Dios se enojó tanto? Huh? They didn't appreciate. No apreciaron lo que él hizo. The What? hardness of their uh, the, of the their hardness heart. of their heart. What? What you say? They complained. They, They complained. complained But a lot. why did God get angry? Por qué Dios se enojó? They've been complaining all the time. Si estuvieron quejándose siempre. Why? Because they complain a lot. One. Huh? Por qué? Ungrateful? Porque era mal agradecidos. Because they were always deciding what they left behind. Look at verse 5. Veamos al verso 5. Y 6. We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt. It cost us nothing. And the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and garlic. But now we're withering away. We have nothing to look at but this manna. Amen. Amen. God got so angry. Dios se enfureció tanto. Your answers tanto. were close and pretty correct. Sus respuestas estaban cercanas y muy correctas. But they, he got so angry. Pero se enfureció tanto. Because you wanted Satan's food better than the food that came down from heaven. Porque tú preferías la comida de Satanás a la comida que bajaba del cielo. Let me say that again. Déjame decir otra vez. You wanted to go back to the old life of bondage. Tú querías regresar a la vida antigua de la esclavitud. And you didn't want to go out every day. Y no quería salir todos los días. And God rained down bread from heaven every day. Cuando Dios hacía caer pan del cielo todos los días. You were a bunch of lazy donkeys. Ustedes son una manada de burros vagos. It costs us nothing. Nos costaba nada. Yeah, because you were being paid nothing. Porque no les pagaban nada. Did you happen to forget you were a slave? Te olvidaste que eras un esclavo. So God got so angry. Dios se enojó tanto. You would rather go, go work for Satan. Tú prefieres ir a trabajar por Satan, para Satanás. You want to go back to there. Tú quieres regresar allá. And you allá. want me to bless you. Y quieres que yo te bendiga. Once you go here, Una vez que vas acá, there's people that leave here, hay gente que se va de aquí, and they like to go do traditional, traditional messianic congregations. Porque hay gente que le gusta ir a hacer tradición. Two hours, and then they go to the beach. Tradición judía, dos horas y se van a la playa. Oh yeah, there's a congregation down by, down in South Jersey. Hay una congregación en el sur de New Jersey. Some people here left here. Alguna gente de aquí se fue para allá. Tienen sus dos o tres horas de servicio. And where do they go? Y da, ¿a they dónde go van? The van a la playa después de eso. That's what you want. Eso es lo que quieres. We're supposed to be in the Word of God all day long. It's Debemos His day. Debemos tener la palabra de Dios todo el día. Well, es su it's día. God's beach. Pero es la playa de Dios. Yeah, along with all the bikinis. Uh, junto con los otros bikinis. And the la, beer bottles. Y las botellas de cerveza. And the salsa music. Y la música and, de salsa. And don't forget the cooking. Y no se olviden la cocina. And the barbecues. Y la barbacoa. And the bikinis. Y los bikinis. He got so angry at us. Él se enojó tanto con nosotros. We're walking with him. Estamos caminando con él. Well, we're with, all we have is this manna. Y todo lo que tenemos es este maná. All you got is God's word. Todo lo que tienes es la palabra de Dios. That's why his nostrils flare. Por eso es que se hincharon sus fosas nasales. Look at verse 6. You might want to underline Veamos it. Vamos al verso 6 y quizá lo quieran señalar. But now we're withering away. And we have nothing to look at but this maná. Amen. Every day we get to look at what God provided for us. Todo día, todos los días tenemos que mirar lo que el Señor proveyó por nosotros. What a blessing! 
Qué bendición. Every day God rained down for free. Cada día el Señor hacía llover Claudia, gratis. for free. Gratis. It came down from heaven and you're, oh, oh, we got to do it. Look at this manna. Bajaba del cielo gratis y tú te quejabas de que tenías que recogerlo. Every day. Cada día. Every day. Cada día. You got what he promised you. Tú tienes lo que él te prometió. And you want to go back to Satan. Y tú querías regresar a Satanás. This is why we studied about Passover. Por eso es que estudiamos de la Pascua. You never want to forget where you came from. Tú no quieres olvidarte nunca de dónde es que viniste. Not that you desire to go back. No que tú deseas regresar. But to know where you come from so you can know where you're going. Pero para saber de dónde vienes y así saber a dónde vas. Look at verse 6. Verso 6. But now we're withering away. We have nothing to look at but this manna. Amen. Amen. All we got is this stupid stuff that comes from heaven. Todo lo que tenemos estas cosas estúpidas que viene del cielo. Oh, madre mío. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Why would you be saying something like that? ¿Por qué dirías algo así? Do we say that to God? Decimos eso a Dios. Oh, you got is this Bible that he gave you. Todo lo que tenemos es la Biblia que te dio. And you want to go and do what you want to do. Y quieres ir a hacer lo que tú quieres hacer. You want to put your kids in public school. Quieres poner a tus hijos en la escuela pública. You want to break your vows. Quieres romper tus votos. I can't do that. I can't do that. No puedo hacer eso. No lo puedo hacer. Oh, we got is this manna that comes down from heaven every day. Todo lo que tenemos es este maná que viene del cielo todos los días. You arrogant little pimple. <laughs> Una espinilla arrogante eres tú. I'm gonna pop you. Te voy a reventar. I mean, I'm not, but do we do the same thing? Pero hacemos lo mismo nosotros. Don't get mad at them, everybody. No te enojes con ellos. When you're doing the same thing. Cuando tú haces lo mismo. Look at verse 1. Verso 1. But the people began complaining about their hardships to Jehovah. When Jehovah heard it, his anger flared up so that fire from Jehovah broke out against them and consumed the outskirts of the camp. Amen? Amen. You're complaining? Estás quejándote. You had nothing before. No tenías nada antes. You were a slave, Ariel. Eras un esclavo. Tiffany, antes. we were slaves. Éramos esclavos. That means if some guy wanted to rape you, you couldn't call the police. Significa que si un hombre quería violarte, no podías llamar a la policía. Well, he's an Egyptian, and that's my slave. Él es un egipcio y ella es mi esclava. I'll do whatever I want, Ivan. Yo voy a hacer lo que quiera. In Darwin, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Tú no podrías hacer nada para detener eso. Now you're complaining. Ahora estás oh, Andrew, dando now they're complaining. Ahora estás dando queja. Do you complain? Te quejas tú. Doesn't turn out very well. No te va muy bien. Let's learn the Hebrew word for complaining. Aprendamos la palabra hebrea para complain. Everyone wants to say queja. Anan. 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 Todos digan Anan. 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 That means to complain or murmur. Significa queja o murmullo. No, I'm going to do it, Lord, but I don't like it. Voy a hacerlo, Señor, pero no me gusta. I'm going to go to Shabbat, but I'm only going to stay for a couple hours. Voy a irme a Shabbat, pero me quedaré solo por unas horas. You're walking with Jehovah, but you're not walking with him. Estás caminando con Jehovah, pero no estás caminando con él. He made water flow from the rock, guys. Él hizo que salga agua de las rocas. He dropped bread from heaven and el, it didn't land on your head. Here's a, here's a, you know, here's a call, a bang. Aquí es un jala. <laughs> what happened to him? What happened to Aram? Oh, the jala fell from heaven. Le cayó un jala del cielo. <laughs> okay, look at verse 4. Vamos al verso 4. Next, the mixed crowd that was with them grew greedy for an easier life. While the sons of Israel, for their part, also renewed their weeping and said, if only we had meat to eat, amen. Mixed crowd? La multitud mixta. Well, let's see what the word mixed means. ¿Qué significa mixta? I'm going to read the definitions in English. Voy a leer la definición en inglés. And then Veronica will do the Spanish. Y después leeremos la definición en español. Uh, uh, the Hebrew word is a pesuf. Okay? Number one, collection. Rabble, collection of multitude. Number two, a promiscuous assemblage, a mixed multitude. Para la multitud mixta es una colección, chusma, multitud recogida, un conjunto promiscua, vulgo. 
So this promiscuous group of people este grupo de personas promiscuo say to God, le dijeron a Dios, we don't want your stuff. No queremos tus cosas. Sounds a little bit like California. Suen, suena como California. That doesn't have any water. Que no tiene agua. But they'll bring in a, a, a witch doctor. Pero nos están trayendo un doctor brujo. But they won't pray to God. Pero no le oran a Dios. Multitude. Una multitud mixta. Meaning Jews and Gentiles. Que significa judíos y gentiles. Now here the other key word, the word greedy. Listen to this. Ahora la otra palabra clave es codicioso. Tava is the, the, the Hebrew word tava. It means desire. Number two, desire wish, longing for one's heart. Three, lust, appetite, covetousness for things desired, object of desire. Amen. La palabra codicioso tava es uno, deseo. Dos, el deseo, anhelar el corazón de uno. Tres, lujuria, apetito, codicia, en mal sentido. Cuatro, cosa deseada, objeto de deseo. Listen, put it together, people. Pónganlo junto. This promiscuous group of people este grupo de persona promiscuo had lust for the devil's things and not for God. Tenía lujuria por las cosas del demonio y no de Dios. This promiscuous group of people este grupo promiscuo de personas wanted the things of the devil more than they wanted the things of of God. Quería las cosas del demonio más que las cosas de Dios. That is why Jehovah got so mad. Por eso es que Jehovah se enfureció. Now go back to verse 5 through 9. Veamos los versos 5 al 9. Now you'll read it in a different light. Ahora lo vas a leer en una diferente luz. We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs us nothing. And the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, the garlic. Yeah. But now we're withering away. We have nothing to look at but this manna. This manna, by the way, was like coriander seed and like, like, like gum resin. And people would go around gathering it and would grind it up in the mills and pound it into paste and mortar and pestle. Then they would cook it in pots and make it into loaves and it tasted like cakes boiled with olive oil. Ugh. When the when the dew settled on the camp the, during the night, the maná came with it. Amen? Amen. It cost you nothing when you were a slave. Te costó nada cuando eras un esclavo. The evil Pharaoh, remember he murdered all of our children. El faraón malvado que mató a todos los niños. Remember Asesinó. Moses had to get sent up in a basket. Recuerdas que Moisés fue enviado a una canasta. This is what you want to go back to. A esto es donde tú quieres regresar. Oh, we don't want to follow. You're you're putting people under the law. Estás poniendo a la gente bajo la ley. Yeah. Sí. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because without the law, Pharaoh gets to kill our kids. Porque sin la ley el faraón asesinó a nuestros hijos. Without the law, sin la ley, women get to get raped and have no recourse. La mejor, las mujeres pueden ser violadas. Without the law, sin la ley, Muslims are overrunning our country and living in the White House. Los musulmanes están tomando poder en nuestro país y están viviendo en la casa blanca. Without the law, sin la ley. Hi, Juan. You look very nice in that gray blue shirt there. Who's that, ves muy bien con esa camisa, sí. <laughs> We're being overrun with the homos. No va a haber reglas para los homosexuales. Oh, they're not bad. No, ellos no son malos. Without the law, Sin la ley. we're making pyramids. Estamos haciendo pirámides. With the law, we're walking with God. Con la ley, estamos caminando con Dios. Are you paying for the food that comes out of heaven? Estás pagando por estás pagando por la comida que viene del cielo. Did you pay for Yeshua? Pagaste por Yeshua? He's the word that came out of heaven. El, el valió la pena que bajó del cielo. Are you paying for the rain? Estás pagando por la lluvia? Are you paying for the rain? Estás pagando por la lluvia. Are you paying for the heat that the sun brings? Estás tú pagando por el calor que el sol eh, eh, expele? Are you paying for the, the day and the night cycle that God provides? Estás tú pagando por el ciclo de día y noche que Dios provee? Look at verse 10. Verso 10. Moshe heard the people crying, family after family, each person in the entrance to the tent. The anger of Jehovah flared up violently, and Moshe too was displeased. Amen? Amen. You can imagine how angry God was. Puedes imaginarte qué enfurecido estaba el Señor. Is God angry at us? 
Está Dios enojado con nosotros. By the looks of the events going on in the world, por la vista de los eventos que están pasando en el mundo, you could say that God's nostril is flaring. Tú puedes decir que las las fosas nasales de Dios están hinchadas. We remember the fish we used to eat. Recordamos el pescado que solíamos comer. Are you saying that to God? Estás diciéndole eso a Dios. Oh yeah, I like the leeks, baby, and the onions and a little garlic. Mm. Me gusta los pepinos, yeah. las cebollas, el ajo. But this man is stuff that I gotta go and work for. Pero este maná que tengo que ir a trabajar para recogerlo. Salvation is a free gift. La salvación es un regalo libre, eh, gratis. The rest you gotta work for. El resto tú lo debes trabajar. Let me say that again. Déjame decir otra vez. Salvation is a free gift. La salvación es un regalo gratis. The rest, you got to walk to the promised land. El resto, tú tienes que caminar a la tierra prometida. We got to remember things. Tenemos que recordar Let's cosas. Let's take a look at remembering. Veamos algo acerca de We're going to go through a bunch of little scriptures right now. Vamos a ver unas uh, escrituras pequeñas. Turn to 1 Samuel 15. Vámonos a Primera de Samuel 15. Let's think about the word Zakar. Remember. Vamos en la palabra Zakar. Recuerda. First Samuel 15. Primera Samuel 15. Anybody getting anything so far? Amen. Do you like God's food? Te gusta la comida de Dios. Wants to tell God he's a bad chef. ¿Quién le quiere decir a Dios que es un mal cocinero? Don't tell, you want, oh, you want, Mike, Mike, don't tell God he's a bad chef. No le digas a Dios que es un mal cocinero. First Samuel 15, verse 22. Primera de Samuel 15, verso 22. First Samuel 15, verse 22. Primera de Samuel 15, verso 22. Shmuel said, Does Jehovah take as much pleasure in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying what, Ye what Jehovah says? Surely obeying is better than sacrifice and heeding orders than the fat of rams. Amen? Amen. What's better? ¿Qué es mejor? What do we need to remember? Que necesitamos recordar. Obedience is better than sacrifice. La obediencia es mejor que el sacrificio. But I love you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. I love, love Pero you. Yo te amo, Jesús. I just yo love. I just love Jesus. I just love, 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 love. Yo amo, amo a Jesús. But you don't sacrifice. Pero no sacrificas. You don't, you're not obeying his way. No estás obediendo, obedeciendo su camino. Oh, I can't teach my children at home. Yo no puedo enseñar a mis hijos en I casa. Can't school my kids. Yo no puedo educar It's a mis hijos hard. en casa. Es difícil, no podemos hacerlo. Send my son to, to public school. Tengo que mandar a mi hijo a la escuela pública. I need to work. Porque necesito trabajar. I need to drive that BMW. Porque necesito manejar ese BMW. Obeying is better than sacrifice. Obedecer es mejor que el sacrificio. Remember this. Recuerda esto. Genesis 9, please. Genesis 9. Genesis 9. Genesis 9. Verse 14 through 16. Verso 14 al 16. Genesis 9. Genesis 9. Verse 14 through 16. Versos 14 al 16. Genesis 9. Genesis 9. 14 through 16. Versos 14 al 16. Genesis 9. Genesis 9. 14 to 16. 14 al 16. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow is seen in the cloud, I remember my covenant which is between myself and you. And every living creature of every kind, the water will never again become a flood to destroy the living beings. The rainbow will be in the clouds so that when I look at it, I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature in any kind, any kind on the earth. Amen? Amen? The rainbow is not for the faggots. El arco iris no es para los homosexuales. The rainbow is for us. El arco iris es para nosotros. The rainbow is for us. El arco iris es para nosotros. It is that God is remembering his covenants. Es para recordar que Dios recuerda su pacto. Not these abominations that hate God with everything they do. No para esas abominaciones que odian a Dios con todo lo que hacen. The rainbow reminds us of God's covenant that will never flood the earth again. El arco iris nos recuerda del pacto de Dios que nunca inundará la tierra otra vez. The rainbow is God's everlasting covenant with us, his people. El arco iris es el pacto perpetuo del Señor con nosotros, su pueblo. This is what we're to remember. Eso es lo que debemos recordar. Exodus 13. Exodus 13. Shemot 13. Exodus 13. Verse 3. Verso 3. Shemot 13, Exodus 13. Exodus 13, versos 3. You getting anything back there, Josh? Sergio, you getting some? 
Exodus 13, verse 3. Exodus 13, verse 3. Moshe said to the people, remember this day on which you left Egypt, the abode of slavery, because Jehovah, by the strength of his hand, has brought you out of this place. Do not eat comets. Amen? Amen. Remember what? Que I guess the church has forgotten this. Creo que la se olvidó de esto. They don't do Passover, and God Por, is saying, remember it. No celebran Pascua, y Dios Rem dice, you want to remember the rainbow? Quieres recordar el arco iris? You, know, you know, Franklin Graham you know, talks against homosexuality. Franklin Graham es, habla del homosexualismo. But he doesn't want to remember Passover. Pero no puede recordar la Pascua. That's called hypocrisy. Eso se llama hipocresía. Exodus 20. Exodus 20. Exodus 20, verse 8. 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 Remember the day, Shabbat, to set it apart for God. Amen. Not part of the day. No parte del día. Not half of the day. No la mitad del día. I don't feel good today. No me siento bien. Oh, well, you know, I don't want to go all day. Yo no quiero estar ahí todo el you día. guys sit there all day, don't they? Ustedes se sientan todo el día ahí. Remember the day. Recuerda el día. Domingo. Domingo. Sunday. Sábado. 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 Shabbat. Set it apart for God. Apartalo para Dios. Well, we do two hours and then we go to the beach. Pero vamos a escuchar dos horas y nos vamos a la playa. We do two hours at the, 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 the town hall and then we go home to eat our houses and eat lunch. No sé, estuvimos dos horas ahí en la sala de reunión y nos vamos a la casa. I mean, even if you do, let's say you're doing the Christian thing, do they even do the whole Sunday? Digamos, si estás haciendo lo cristiano, celebran todo el domingo. ¿Cuántas three? horas estabas con el domingo? Oh, Woo, man, Tres dude, horas el domingo. Hours. Sometimes four. Hay veces cuatro. Jiminy crickets. Hay veces cuatro. God said, what? Dios dice, ¿qué? Remember the day Shabbat to set it apart. The day. Recuerda el día para apartarlo. Not the hours. No las horas. Well, this guy's man, he's going to go off past three o'clock again. Este hombre va a pasarse las tres de la tarde otra vez. Damn, you know, what, man, man, what's wrong with this man? I got to watch a baseball game. ¿Qué le pasa a este hombre? Tengo que mirar el juego the de baseball. The Yankees are on. Los Yankees están jugando. Numbers 15. Números 15. Verse 39. Verso 39. Numbers 15. Números 15. Verse 39. Verso 39. Numbers 15. Numbers 15. Verse 39. Verso 39. You getting something there, Renary? También? Hi. Right. Numbers. It's after uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. numbers. Go to Leviticus and make a right. Numbers. Go to Deuteronomy and make a left. Vamos, um, It is to be a seat seat for you to look at and thereby remember all of Jehovah's Smiths won't obey them so that you won't go around wherever your own heart and eyes lead you to prostitute yourself. Amen? Amen. Remember some of the commandments. Recuerda alguno de los mandamientos. Well, I have a circumcised heart. Tengo un corazón circuncidado. Then you should remember the commandments. Entonces deberías recordar los mandamientos. It's a seat seat for you to forget the commandments of God. Son los seat seats para olvidarte de los mandamientos de Dios. Uh, well, I don't like, uh, we like the thing honor your mother and father. Yo quiero eso de honrar al padre y a la madre. But that Sabbath thing we just can't do. Pero eso del sábado no podemos hacerlo. It's just not good for me, Darwin. No es bueno para mí. You know, because there's all the sales that happen on Saturday. Porque todas las ventas son el sábado. Sunday is much better for me to have my Sabbath. El domingo es mejor para mí tener mi Sabbath. Deuteronomy 4, please. Deuteronomio 4. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomio 4. How many people want to be prostitutes? ¿Cuántos quieren ser prostitutas? Anybody want to be a prostitute? ¿Alguien quiere ser prostituta? I hear they make good money at least for a little while. Yo escucho que hacen buen dinero por lo menos por no, un no, tiempo. No, no, no takers? Nadie quiere ser. No, there are male prostitutes and things like that. Come on, guys. Hay hombres ah. prostitutos. Why? Gigolos. <laughs> Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomio 4. Verse 7 and 9. Verso 7 al 9. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomio 4. 7 to 9. 7 al 9. 
For what great nation is there that has God as close to them as Jehovah Elohim is whenever we call on Him? What great nation is there that has laws and rulings as just as the entire Torah which I'm setting before you today? Only be careful, remember, and watch yourselves diligently as long as you live so that you won't forget so that what you saw with your own eyes and so that these things won't vanish from your hearts. Rather, make them known to your children and grandchildren. Amen? Amen. Amen. Be careful or remember the car. Cuidado o recuerda the car. Forget to tell them to your kids. Olvida decirle a tus hijos. Ariel's not listening anyway. Él no está escuchando de todas maneras. Tiffany's listening even less. Tampoco escucha menos. Connor never listens. Él nunca escucha. Tristan sometimes listens. Hay veces que le escucha. Joshua never listens. Él nunca escucha. And Stephanie never listens. Y ella tampoco escucha. Gabriel never listens. Tampoco escucha nunca. Ivan, we'll see what happened to his hair. He never listens. Vamos a ver qué ven qué pasó con su pelo. Nunca escucha. God said, be careful. Dios dice, cuidado. Remember to tell your children what? Recuerda decir a tus hijos qué. Tell them what? Don't eat the broccoli? Decirles no coman el broccoli porque te da gases. Don't eat the beans, 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 good for your heart? No quemas, no comas granos, granos. Que what no did he tell us to remember? ¿Qué nos dice que recordemos? All the Torah. Remember. Recuerda la Torah. But he saw, says also be careful. Pero también dice ten cuidado. Say what's in my word, Felix. Di lo que está en mi palabra. Deuteronomy 8, please. Deuteronomy 8. Deuteronomy 8, Deuteronomy 8. Verse 18 and 19. Versos 18 al 19. Remember, Brittany. <laughs> there'll be a test later. <laughs> Deuteronomy 8, verse 18 and 19. Deuteronomy 8, verses 18 and 19. Now you are to remember Jehovah your Elohim because it is He who is giving you the power to get wealth in order to confirm His covenant which He swore to your ancestors as is happening even today. If you forget Jehovah your Elohim, follow other gods and serve and worship them, I am war warning you in advance today you, you will certainly perish. Amen? Look at verse 18. You might want to underline it. Veamos al verso 18. Quizá lo quiera señalar. It says, if you remember Jehovah, your Elohim, you're going to get wealth. Dice, si recuerdas a Jehovah, tu Elohim, tendrás riquezas. We got more people in poverty today than ever before. Tenemos más gente en la pobreza que antes. Well, Yeshua said you'd always have the poor with you. Pero Yeshua dijo que siempre tendrás a los pobres But contigo. not in this number. Pero no en un número grande. But if you remember Jehovah your Elohim. Pero su, si tú recuerdas a Jehovah Elohim. He's promising you wealth. Él te está prometiendo bienestar. How many people want to remember God now? ¿Cuántos quieren recordar a Dios How ahora? many people want to remember God? You know, come on, put it up. Um, wave your hand ¿Cuántos in the quieren air. Recordar wave your hand in the air ahora. like you just don't care. I care about the Lord. I'm raising my hands. A mí me importa el Señor. Hey, Te remember me, Papa. Recuérdame, Papa. I remember, but you can't just remember him. No puedes solo recordarle. You have to be what? Tienes que ser qué? Obedient. Obediente. Because God desires obedience. Porque el Señor desea obediencia. But I am offering up this cow. Pero yo estoy ofreciendo esta vaca. I am offering up a whole cow for you, Lord. Estoy ofreciendo esta vaca para ti, Señor. But I gotta leave. I gotta go beat my gumad. Pero me tengo que ir porque tengo que ir a comer mi gumad. I gotta be with my girlfriend because you know my wife's out of town. Tengo que estar con mi novia porque mi esposa no está en la ciudad. I got I gotta leave, Lord. You know I got a video game tournament. Tengo un un partido de videojuegos. I gotta leave, Lord. I gotta track meet. Tengo, señor, que tengo que encontrar. I gotta go running. Tengo que irme a correr. I gotta leave, Lord. There's a sale at Macy's. Señor, tengo que irme porque hay una venta en Macy's. Pocketbooks, 50% off, Luz. Las carteras están al 50%. I bet it's shoes. Quizás son zapatos. <laughs> shoes. Zapatos. <laughs> no. I'll wait till Sunday. <laughs> Esperaré hasta el domingo. And then I'll give you, if you remember God, this is a great promise. Si recuerdas a Dios, esta es una gran promesa. If you want the food that comes down from heaven. Si, com, si buscas la comida que viene del cielo. But if you want to go back to the old life. 
Pero si quieres ir de vuelta a la otra you vida, to to life, quieres regresar a la otra vida. You don't want to sacrifice, si no quieres sacrificio, turn to Matthew 16. Vamos a Mateo 16. Matthew 16. Mateo 16. Here, Matthew 16. Mateo 16. Let's see if this remember goes all the way to the New Testament, the Brit Hadasha. Vamos a saber a ver si eso de recordar va eh, lo encontramos en el Nuevo Testamento. Matthew también. 16. Mateo 16. Verse 8 through 12. Versos 8 al 12. But Yeshua, aware of this, said, "Such little trust you have. Why are you talking with each other about not having bread? Don't you understand yet? Don't you remember?" The five loaves and the five thousand and how many baskets you filled? Or the seven loaves and the four thousand how many baskets you filled? How can you possibly think I was talking about the bread? Guard yourselves from the hamets of the Pirashim and the Zidukim. When they understood they were to guard themselves not from the east for bread, but from the teaching of the Pirashim and the Zidukim. Amen? Amen? See, the church thinks they're supposed to guard it from the teachings of Torah. La iglesia piensa que debemos tener cuidado en las enseñanzas de Torah. No. The Pirashim and Zidukim had made 500 Shabbat laws. Los fariseos y seduceos crearon 500 leyes de Shabbat. 500. 500 leyes de Shabbat. You know one of the laws they made? Here's a fun una de one. las I like one. leyes que ellos hicieron es una chistosa que me gusta. Esto está en Talmud. You can't put an egg in the sand on Shabbat no because it'll cook it. No puedes poner un huevo en arena porque lo vas a cocinar en Shabbat. In the, the Israel gets kind of warm. Porque en Israel está un poquito caliente. You ever go to the beach and you're like, oh, ha, 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 oh gotta get to the water. Si vas a la playa y pisa está muy caliente y tienes well, que ir al agua. Well, if you put an egg in there long enough, it'll cook it too. Si lo si pones un huevo ahí por un tiempo lo cocinará. So this is what Yeshua was saying. Esto es lo que Yeshua está diciendo. If you're putting the egg in the sand, you're trying to break Torah anyway, so who cares? Si pones un huevo en la arena estás tratando de romper la Torah, entonces aquí no importa. You're trying to get around the cooking laws anyway. Estás tratando de 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 hacer trampa con las leyes It's de cocina. It's your heart. Es tu corazón. Revelation 2. Apocalipsis 2. Revelation 2. Apocalipsis 2. Verse 5 and 6. Verso 5 y 6. Revelation 2. Revelation 2. Apocalipsis 2. Verse 5 and 6. Verso 5 y 6. Revelation 2. Apocalipsis 2. Verse 5 and 6. Verso 5 y 6. Therefore, remember where you were before you fell. Turn from sin and do what you used to do before. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your menorah from its place if you don't turn from sin. But you have this in your favor. You hate what the Nicolaitans do. I hate it too. Amen? Amen. Remember this, everybody. Recuerden esto. You have until your last breath Tienes hasta tu último aliento to teshuva to God. Para arrepentirte a Dios. Remember where you were before you fell. Recuerda dónde estabas antes de caer. Remember God is a forgiving God. Recuerda que Dios es un Dios que perdona. He's a very forgiving God. Es un Dios que perdona. Let's take this understanding a little further. Tomemos este entendimiento un poquito Go más allá. Go back to John 15. Vámonos a Juan 15. John 15. Juan 15. The real understanding of sacrifice. El verdadero entendimiento de sacrificio. John 15. Juan 15. We're going to go do now verse 1 through 14. Vamos a ver los versos 1 al 14. Can you take another 15 minutes? Pueden tomar 15 minutos más. John 15, verse 1 through 14. Juan 15, del 1 al 14. I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. Every branch which is part of me, but fails to bear fruit, he cuts off. And every branch that does, n does bear fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruits. Right now, because of the word which I have spoken to you, you are pruned. So stay united with me as I will with you. For just as a branch can't put forth, just as a branch can't put forth fruit by itself, let me say it again, stay united with me and I with you. For just as a branch can't put forth fruit by itself apart from the vine, so you can't bear fruit apart from me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit because apart 
from me you can't do a thing. Unless a person remains united with me, he is thrown away like a branch that dries up. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire where they are burned up. If you remain united with me and with my words, then ask whatever you want and it will happen for you. This is how my Father is glorified in your bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove to be my Talmudim. Just as my Father has loved me, I too have loved you. So stay in my love. If you keep my commands, you will stay in my love just as I kept my Father's commands and stay in his love. I have said this to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my command, that you keep loving each other just as I have loved you. No one has a greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Amen? Amen. Ooh, that's a big passage now. Ese es un pasaje grande. Now we're going to take everything we've learned Vamos a tomar todo lo que hemos and apply it to the rest of this chapter. Y lo al resto de este Go pasaje. back to verse 2. Verso dos. Every branch which is part of me but fails to bear fruit, he cuts off. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruit. Amen? Amen. Now we got to understand what pruning is. Tenemos que entender que es podar. The Hebrew, uh, the Greek word here for pruning is hatharo. It means to cleanse of filth impurity. To prune trees and vines from useless shoots. Para la palabra podar es número uno para limpiar de suciedad impureza. Para podar árboles y vides de brotes inútiles. If he's pruning you, si te está podando, he's pruning you from filthy impurities that should not be in you. Te está podando de impurezas y suciedades que no deben estar contigo. He's not cutting you off. Él no te está cortando. He's pruning, pero te está so podando. You, so that you can get stronger. Así te puedes hacer más fuerte. Now hold your place in John 15. Mantén tu lugar en Juan 15. And go to Leviticus 19. Y vamos a Levítico 19. Leviticus 19. Levítico 19. Verse 23 to 25. Versos 23 al 25. Leviticus 19. Levítico 19. Verse 23 to 25. Versos 23 al 25. Leviticus 19. Levítico 19. Verse 23 to 25. Versos 23 al 25. When you enter the land and plant various kinds of fruit trees, you're to regard its fruit as forbidden. For three years it will be forbidden to you and not eating. In the fourth year, all its fruit will be holy for praising Jehovah. But in the fifth year, you may eat its fruit so that it will produce even more for you. I am Jehovah, your Elohim. Amen? Amen. So he, in the, the, for three years, you don't touch the tree. Por tres años, tú no debes tocar el árbol. But in the fourth year, Pero en el cuarto you año. pick its fruit and you give it to the Kohanim. You give it to the Lord. Tú cosechas el fruto y le das al coanim, le das al Señor. And you do this once. Y lo haces una vez. In the fifth year, en el quinto año, this tree is strong enough, este árbol está fuerte, and you prune it back so it grows even more y lo, fruits. Y lo podas más para que pueda dar más fruto. So if the Lord is pruning you, si el Señor te está podando, He's not cutting you down, He's trying to make you stronger. Él no te está cortando si no te está tratando de fortalecer. Don't think it if he's taking something away from you. No creas que si él quita algo de ti. It's not always bad, people. No es siempre malo. Pruning is good, it makes the tree stronger. Podar es bueno porque hace del árbol más fuerte. And he's going to be pruning us down, everybody. Y él nos va a estar podando. Things that are coming in this world, are, we're going to get pruned. Las cosas que están pasando en el mundo nos va a podar. But as long as you got the word, pero mientras te mantengas en la back, palabra, junto contigo, in a place to lay your head, ropa contigo y un lugar donde poner tu cabeza. You don't need cabeza. internet. No necesitas internet. You don't need a cell phone. No necesitas teléfono celular. You don't need celular. television. No necesitas televisión. You don't need 45 pairs of shoes. No necesitas 45 pares de zapatos. 18 pocketbooks. 18 carteras. What you need is the word of God and time to read it. Lo que necesitas es la palabra de Dios y tiempo para leerla. Now go back to John 15. Vamos a Juan 15. Verse 3 and 4. Versos 3 y 4. John 15. Yo ganan. Juan 15. Juan, it just doesn't sound right. Bueno. We're changing your name to Yochanan. Juan is just Juan. 
Yochanan is a man. John 15, verse 3 and 4. Right now, because of the word which I have spoken to you, you are pruned. Stay united with me, and I will with you. For just as a branch can't, be, can't put forth fruit by itself apart from the vine, so you can't bear fruit apart from me. Amen? Amen. Well, you're saying, well, John Hagee has... 10,000 people at his church. Tú puedes decir que Hegi tiene uh, 10,000 personas en su iglesia. Blinky's got 50,000 people at his church. El parpadeador tiene mucha gente en su iglesia. Yeah, he's producing arsenic. Él está produciendo arsenic. He's producing poisonous fruits. Él está produciendo o arsenico. Él está produciendo fruta how, how, venenosa. How many Jews did Yeshua call? ¿Cuántos judíos Yeshua llamó? 12. 12. And those 12 y esos 12 turned the world upside down. Tornaron el, el mundo a 350 grados. What does the word united mean? ¿Qué significa unido? The Greek word is meno. It means to remain, abide. Second, to sojourn. Three, not to depart. Four, continue to be present. Five, to be held, kept continually. La palabra unido significa uno para permanecer, acatar. Dos, para pre peregrinar, entretenerse. Tres, no apartarse. Cuatro, seguir presente. Cinco, llevar a efecto, mantener continuamente. United with the Lord means what? Unido con el Señor significa que Shabbat and the seven holy days. Shabbat de los siete días santos. We got pruned out of Egypt to walk with God in a new life. Nos podó de Egipto para caminar con Dios y comenzar una nueva vida. We don't go back to Roman civilization. No regresaremos a civilización civilización romana. Stay united with Yeshua. How do you stay united? Mantente unido con Yeshua. ¿Cómo te mantienes unido? How do you stay united? ¿Cómo te mantienes unido? Seis uno tres. Seis uno tres. Seis uno tres. How do you stay united? ¿Cómo te mantienes limbo, unido? Limbo, limbo. No, no, we don't do the limbo. No hacemos el limbo. How do you stay united? ¿Cómo te mantienes unido? You do the Macarena? Bailas la Macarena. You do the sprinkler? Oh, bailas How do you stay united with the Lord? ¿Cómo te mantienes con el Señor? Seis uno tres. Seis uno tres. Verse five. Verse cinco. Verse five. Verse cinco. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit because apart from me you can't do a thing. Amen? Amen. If you're apart from God, you're not walking with Him. Si estás aparte de Dios, no caminas con Él. You have to stay united with Him. Tienes que mantenerte unido con él. You don't want to go back to the old life. Tú no quieres regresar a la vida antigua. I like doing Shabbat. Me encanta hacer I Shabbat. I love doing Shabbat. Amo yo hacer I Shabbat. I enjoy doing Shabbat. Yo disfruto celebrar Shabbat. Okay. Well, you know, my family keeps calling me. My family keeps calling me. Shh. Let the translator hear, please. The family keeps calling me. La familia me sigue llamando. Forget about the family. Olvida de la familia. Who's your family? ¿Quién es tu familia? Those who do what your Father in heaven wants. Aquellos que hacen lo que el Padre en el cielo quiere. Well, turn off your phone. Apaga el teléfono. Then they can't call you. They can leave a voicemail. No te pueden llamar, pero pueden dejar un mensaje. Sorry, my phone was off. You're not Perdón, lying. Mi teléfono estaba apagado. No estaba. You turned mintiendo. it off. Lo apagaste. Verse six. Verso seis. Unless a person remains united with me. He is thrown away like a branch that dries up. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire where they are burned up. Amen? Amen. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Thrown into the fire? Uh, ser arrojado en el fuego. Is that Yeshua talking about hell? ¿Es ese Yeshua está hablando acerca del infierno? He's talking about hell. Él está hablando del infierno. If you are not united with him, si no estás unido con él, He's going to cut you off. Él te va a cortar. And you're going to hell. Y te va a mandar al infierno. Verse 7 and 8. Verso 7 y 8. If you remain united with me and my words with you, then ask whatever you want and it will happen for you. This is how my Father is glorified in your bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove that you are my Talmudin. Amen? Amen. Remain united with him? Manténganse unidos con él. 
Then we get to ask daddy what? Entonces podemos pedirle a you papá. You can ask daddy for anything. Puedes pedirle a papá hey, por papi. todo. Just call him and say hello. Hi, papi. Estoy llamando a decir hola. Just want to say hello. Love you. Solo quería decir hola. Gotta Te go. Amo. I know you're busy. Me tengo que ir. Sé que estás ocupado. You can ask dad anything. No le pedís a Dios nada. Look at verse 9 and 10. Versos 9 y 10. Just as my father has loved me, I too have loved you. So stay in my love. If you keep my commands, you will stay in my love, just as I kept my father's commands and stay in his love. How do you stay in his love? ¿Cómo te mantendrás en su amor? Stay in his commands. Mantente en sus mandamientos. How do you stay in his commands? ¿Cómo te mantienes en sus mandamientos? You walk with him. Caminas con él. You walk with him. Caminas con él. You take the food that comes down out of heaven. Tomas la comida que baja del cielo. And you don't want to go back to the bondage of the old life. Y no quieres regresar a la esclavitud de la vida antigua. I will remember to obey your words. Yo me recordaré obedecer tus palabras. Final part 12 through 14. Parte final de 12 al 14. 12 to 14. De 12 al 14. This is my command that you keep loving each other just as I have loved you. No one is greater has greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Amen? Amen. Woo. You had to throw that in, Yeshua. Tuviste que ponerlo esto, Yeshua. You're his enemy if you say you don't need the word of God, the, the Old Testament anymore. Tú eres su enemigo si no le dices, si le dices que no necesitas el Antiguo Testamento. You're an enemy of God. Tú eres un enemigo de Dios. If you say we no longer need the Old Testament anymore. Si dices que ya no necesitamos el Antiguo Testamento. You're my friends, what? Tú eres mis amigos, ¿qué? If you do what I command you. Tú eres mi amigo si haces lo que te mando. So remember. Recuerda. To keep the Sabbath day. De guardar el día sábado. Remember. Recuerda. To walk with God. Caminar con Dios. Remember. Recuerda that God only lets his friends que Dios únicamente deja a sus house. amigos entrar a su casa. Remember, recuerda, he called us his children. Él nos llamó sus hijos. And remember, y recuerda, don't hate God's cooking. No olvide, no odies la comida de Dios. Because he is a master chef. Porque él es un, uh, un cocinero especializado. Amen. 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 I want to just bow our hearts for a moment. Inclinemos nuestro corazón por un momento. If you're out there, si estás afuera, and you've never given your heart to the Lord, y nunca has dado tu corazón al Señor, today is a good day. El día de hoy es un muy buen día. Today he's inviting you. Porque el día de hoy te está invitando. To accept him into your hearts. A aceptarlo en tu corazón. For he is a forgiving king. Porque él es el rey que perdona. And he's willing to forgive your transgressions. Y él está dispuesto a perdonar tus pecados. If you want to walk with him in spirit and in truth. Si quieres caminar con él en espíritu y verdad. Say, if you want to get into his house. Si quieres entrar en, tu, en su casa. If you want to live with him for eternity. Si quieres vivir con él por una eternidad. It starts with a simple prayer. Comienza con una oración muy simple. That you have to mean in your heart. Que tienes que decirle en tu corazón. But you got to say these words. Tienes que decir estas palabras. Say Yeshua. Di Yeshua. Today. El día de hoy. I remember my sins. Yo recuerdo mis pecados. I remember that they keep me far from you. Yo recuerdo que me mantienen lejos de ti. I remember. Yo recuerdo. That you paid your life for me. Que pagaste tu vida por mí. That you sacrificed for me. Que sacrificaste mi vida, la, la, tu vida por mí. So today. El día de hoy, I ask for your forgiveness. Te pido perdón. I ask for you to wash me. Te pido que me laves. Clean me. Que me limpies. Make me something new. Y que hagas algo nuevo de mí. So I can live in your house in eternity. Así puedo vivir en tu casa una eternidad. If you've done that for the very first time, si has hecho esto por primera vez, and meant it in your heart, y lo has dicho de corazón, then you're what we call entonces tú eres lo que llamamos Born again. nacidos otra vez But Yeshua said this, pero Yeshua dijo esto that if you do not him man, que si no me profesas en delante de los hombres he cannot, Él no puede will not, ni tampoco profess you before his father in heaven. te profesará en delante del Padre en el cielo so if you've done that for the very first time, si has hecho esto por primera vez just slip up your hand, levanta tu mano so we can pray with you, 
Lloraremos contigo. If you're hearing this on radio, television, or internet, si nos estás escuchando en radio, televisión o internet, just let us know so we can pray with you. Déjanos saber y oraremos contigo. Your name is Yeshua. En tu nombre Yeshua. Amen. 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 Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the Donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures, searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close this Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's Parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website 
where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.